Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with space exploration. And where were we actually? Currently heading towards... Oh, that's right, Oblong Lobulata. Uh, we were heading out to, I think, Off Forest to chase some more mysterious structures. Um, and there's some little thing I have to fix at Oblong along the way. Just putting in a storage chest so that we don't have uh, a handful of bots hovering until the end of time, holding on to various items. Oh, this ship didn't actually bring any sulfuric acid, but there's way more than enough. Uh, this is our first antimatter ship. Well, not this. Is, this is our first uh, utility antimatter ship doing the deep space mining. Uh, I think I sent it straight from Navis orbit, so it didn't pick up sulfuric acid, but we've already got a ton of sulfuric acid here. So that won't be a problem. Uh, should be about four times as much as we need to fill the ship. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we don't have any prod modules because this one didn't have prods. I think the next ship that's waiting... Uh, waiting to park there. This one, well, at least this one. Yeah, we've got a couple of ships, actually, waiting their turn to land here. Uh, and they are carrying at least some productivity modules. Uh, make that only two, actually. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, I don't think I've set up a fully automated supply line for prod modules, tier 6, uh, to make their way to these ships still. So that probably explains that. I can at least get the module box to drop off quite a lot of them all at once, though. Uh, let's go back to Nalvis. That didn't get it to take off. There we go. It should... There, there we go. Module box. I have to hit engage, otherwise it'll just sit there until its accumulator runs dry. I'm not entirely clear on how we're launching this with a circuit, and yet I have to hit engage every single time. It seems to be the only ship that follows that rule, but it's no big deal, really. We are six minutes out from Oblong. Uh, we do have all of our Tier 2 Deep Space Science uh, complete. And we're just waiting on slash ramping up throughput of Naquium. Uh, we have, let's see. I should rename these to Black Mirror. We've got uh, six ships of the old... Uh, design with ion engines going back and forth between Black Mirror, which is fairly far away. Um, not extremely fast. And we've got a grand total of one. Uh, sorry, we've got five oblong ships that are of the old design. No, four of them. Uh, and two with the new antimatter design. I think we'll probably hit the point of saturation. Um, hey, Ben Wu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that is to say, saturation of... We're no longer bottlenecked on the ships going to Oblong. Just the 
Uh, is this thing ready? 900 degrees. Yeah, it's ready. Oh, I need to... Wait, I think I already did do that. Let's make sure. Update this from 370 to 371 with the anchor signals. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Another way I could have done it... Nah, no, that's fine. So what should we do while we're waiting on that? Uh, we've still got a lot of bots in motion cleaning up this old stuff. Uh, I didn't really have time to build out this oil off stream. Where are our construction spiders? We can hope and pray that we won't need them for five minutes. Uh, I think I need to run rail out here though. Where would be the best place to do that from? It's a little awkward, but I think I think we'll just take it off here. Not even concerned about the shape of this one. Um, just as long as it's one way on each side. So we don't block the trains. I might just have this go this way. And we'll use a giant loop. Let's bring these two together. That goes all kinds of places, doesn't it? Oh, there's uh, something in the way there. Bit of water. And are we finally back? Fantastic. Uh, let's put that in there, I suppose. We'll have to add a couple of signals. I mean, we'll have to add quite a few signals, but that's beside the point. Uh, we can start adding some regular rail signals here. Like so. Whoops. This rail is rather long. Okay, and I want this to also go out this way, um, so that we can get some stations over here. That should do it. Alright, where are our spiders? We also need some power poles. Let's get that done the first time. At least we can shift drag this one. Wait, what? Okay, I only heard one placement noise there. And we're here. I'm 
Okay. Spiders. Uh, a bunch of the bots jumped out of the spiders. That's not helpful. Hopefully they'll have enough bots uh, that didn't jump out to deconstruct things and pick up a million iron plate. We should be able to get this done. I'm not going to wait for them this time. That's too long. Spiders should have no trouble building this out. And I was going to say let's build this out first, but in case I'm not paying attention at the time, let's get them to go over there. Okay. We can also grab our scaffolding spiders and deconstruct more of this stuff. Well, I say sca... Wait, what? Oh, no. Which one are they following? This one? Cool. Why did I have just one of them on... I think it was this remote. I think I overwrote the color of the leader as well. There we go. Alright. There's still a bunch of chests over here, so this one will probably take them a little while. What's this? No, I gotta resist the urge to mark everything for deconstruction until I'm actually there. Otherwise, the bots will become very non-responsive uh, to deconstruction orders. Okay, um, I guess we could get the... Well, technically we could get the construction spiders involved as well, but I think they're going to get their inventory full, and I have to go to a great deal of trouble to clear it out. Um, and also, it leaves them not free to work on stuff. Uh, we should probably make another deep space miner. Salad win. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And this one. And once the floors have been placed, I want to place that uh, energy beam receiver as soon as possible so we can get this thing sent out. I definitely need to give the... What is it called? Recursive Blueprints mod a try? I would love to be able to automate construction of spaceships. No, don't turn around when you've got two pieces of spaceship floor left to place. How dare you? Alright, we're good. Now we can fire and forget that for ten minutes or so, and... Once it's got, like, 700 degrees of heat in the beam receiver, uh, we'll be good to send it on its way. Pretty much the only resource I really care about at the moment is Naquitite. Everything else is satisfactory. Um, I'd ultimately like to replace all of our spaceships with antimatter ones. But that is literally hundreds of spaceships. Uh, I think if we change... Yeah, we've got 111 spaceships in Calidus right now. Uh, including the many shuttles. 
that take resources from the ground to now absorb it. Okay, what's next then? Two minutes till we're there, I can get used to this. Should I make an even faster player ship? I don't think we really desperately need it or anything. It would have to be significantly bigger to be any faster. Like, if I add two more engines, then we need that much more power to support going full speed. Uh, did I do a version of this thing that uses antimatter? Since we've got the energy beam receiver. I mean the uh, high temp turbine generator. Pardon me, I think I bumped the... More faster spaceships, indeed. How would antimatter engines fit here? The ship would have to be a little bit wider, unless we just go for two of them, which, for the purposes of these, uh, the, the ship that's going to be like a carbon copy of this one, uh, that'll be totally fine. I mean, honestly, uh, an exact copy of this ship would be fine as well, but we, we wouldn't be at episode 165. If we were going to settle for just using the same design when we've got new toys to play with. So... Do we have room to design this out somewhere? I think this is where we designed it. This was the player ship that I made, right? There's really no reason... Can I put this back in the box? The ion, that is. Um, I would like to just deconstruct this thing. It was a fun little experiment, but there's literally no need for it anymore. And that'll give us some room, uh, I think it'll give us enough room to make this ship, but with antimatter engines. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of room here. I will wait until uh, we've salvaged the liquid rocket fuel and ion stream. A hey, whiskers? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe do three engines only? Three engines. What, for the, uh... For the carbon copy of this thing? We wouldn't be able to make it symmetrical, though. That would be a sin. I mean, we can't make it perfectly symmetrical. We've got the energy beam receiver slightly offset. And all the power. But you get the idea. I disappeared last night, a thunderstorm took out my power, rip. Hope you're all safe. Ah, uh, symmetry, never mind, I want four engines. <laughs> Indeed. Um, liquid rocket fuel is having trouble getting drained. I mean, this is 800,000. Um... We've got a bit more room to store it over here as well. But I... I think, unless I want to... I, I could add some temporary tanks like here, I guess. And we'll pump it out of them... Uh, once we get rid of this ship. All good, just inconvenient, that's good. 
Uh, it hasn't been bad for a while, but for the longest time living here, uh, power outages were all too common, even if very brief. Under circumstances like that, I definitely recommend investing in a UPS. It doubles as a surge protector as well. It's not like it's going to give you hours of uh, computing time after the power goes out or anything, but you can at least, you know, execute a graceful shutdown, not get your files corrupted or anything like that. Although there was only, like, one brand that I could find that was a reasonable price. For, for certain values of reasonable. What do we have here? Full spiders? Very full spiders. I should probably just expand the robot network out this way. Um... Since this isn't very far... Oh yeah, the, this part's deliberate, actually. Alright, let's do that. That should just about do it. I have a good surge protector power board that saved this computer a few times, but it's so rare that I haven't justified the cost of a UPS yet. Yeah. I mean, if power going out is like a once in a year event or something, as it should be, um, then I can understand not justifying the cost of that, of course. Okay. It also gives me a bit of peace of mind. Um, we actually had a lightning strike pretty close to here once, and let's see, several ports on the router were fried, uh, among other things, and my old UPS uh, stopped working, uh, but my computer was totally fine. Or, or did I lose, like, a USB port or something? I don't think so. I think it was just the... Oh! Right before we hit that asteroid. We are here. And I was getting ready to check for biters for the planet that we're landing on, but we're actually just... delivering these prod modules that I didn't even realize that we were going to deliver. That's good. Now we can put this up here. And go just that little little bit faster. Excuse me. I lost a laptop, modem, router, audio interface, and powered speakers. Ouch. Uh, apparently this is outside of the robot network. There we go. Okay, is there anything else I should do while I'm here? I could make a bigger power plant, but that is totally unnecessary. Um, I think we've got full coverage. It's kind of hard to see, but yes, we do have full coverage, uh, I believe, under this beacon. So that 5 million Naquitite, plus, uh, plus 160%, wow, that's like 14 million or something, 12 million? 13 million? That might just be enough to get us what we want, I hope. Why is this not leaving? 
6.7k Nacritite, you say. Did we forget to connect some wires? We forgot to connect some wires. Okay. Uh, in the old version? We've got... Where does that green connect? It goes across the... It goes across the, uh... Storage tanks. We can do that, I suppose. And it should take off now. 13k. We're looking for 13,400. What do we have? Well, that's just going to say 13k, isn't it? Um, are the chests all connected by green wire? Yes. How many chests do we have? 28. Do, does the old design have 28 chests in that area? Yes, it does. So what's the problem? I very much doubt that we've got enough chests not completely full to make the difference, because we've deliberately lowballed this figure right here. Oh, did I not? That's why. I didn't switch this on. Okay. I'm gonna copy-paste this now, and go to uh, the only other antimatter ship that we've launched like that. There's the settings and circuit wire, and there's one at Nalvis Orbit as well. And I think we'll update our blueprint. Uh, select new contents. Fantastic. Do you have creeps disabled? As in biters? No, we cleared them out of most of our planets. Prankster? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. HP Crusher? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Hi, thanks for... Uh, thanks for the save file upload. Much appreciated. No worries. Um, okay. Let's move on to... What's our target? Or for us. Or rather... Infama in Infamani. Let's go. I wonder what our new ship's ETA back to Nalvis is. Is it at full speed yet? It's almost there. Uh, 27 minutes. That's not that bad. Considering how far it has to come. I guess, uh, for UPS optimization, it would probably make the most sense to build a really big ship. We're already at 632. Uh, sorry, 882 out of a thousand container stress, though. So it's pretty close to as effectively big as it's going to get. I mean, I could add more engines and a few more chests. If I was designing it from scratch as opposed to making it fit with our existing infrastructure... Um, we could definitely do better there. But for now, I just want to get that Nacrotite flowing. What's our ETA? Uh, 20 minutes. Loving this speed. Okay, back to Nalvis Orbit. Uh, the box of... Wow. They've already cleared everything up to the limit of the network range here. But we need to place another one.
I don't want the bots to ha what the oh I see hmm you know what we could do is replace that however temporarily no I'll just do it this way delete that and most of them go to a supercharger And the rest are spreading themselves out. Cool. Uh, where are we going next? I would love to design some new science blocks, but we're kind of waiting on that. I do quite like this, uh, this new way of doing sushi, though. Uh, Boom, Boomerk, hi, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well, name in base, no worries, uh, right about here, okay, let's go with the B, uh, W, I think I have a U somewhere here-ish, oh, there it is. B U U M R K I'll just use this to measure for a sec. I've got the K right here. What the Now where is an R? Oh there it is. Right underneath the P. And we've got power. Get the construction spiders to pay that a visit. W and W are easy to confuse. Yeah, English is 10 out of 10 perfect language. Volbatic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I still haven't dismantled this stuff. We need to get all these catalogs back somewhere useful, though. I mean, I do have a system for recycling these things uh, from the mall, but they have to hit a certain threshold. Ben Wu as well. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't think I can beat the spiders to it. We got an N somewhere. W one off and O O What the no make sure they get it. How's this? Fantastic. I need to add a to do uh, for some kind of name in base sound alert so I don't nope. miss them. Name in base sound alert. Cool, thanks, no worries. Kellogg's, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, um... What's going on with the bots here? Look at them all hovering above the... These things are supposed to be able to recharge 64 robots at a time, but the bots are taking turns to move over towards it. Also, we're clearly out of story... We're, we're, we're clearly out of homes for the bots. Um, that's unfortunate. Let's give them... Do I have some roboports here? No, I don't think we request roboports. Alright, let's get the spiders to pay them a visit.
Damn it, this makes me want to play Cractorio again. Indeed. Um, there was something that I was thinking about designing in... Uh, what do you call it? In the sandbox. But I can't remember what it was. I, I know I've been meaning to do, like, a redesign of... Uh, the ground sciences. And I figured I'd do that off stream, but I don't think that's what I'm thinking of right now. Alright, um, speaking of redesigns, let's make some more room. Uh, I don't need this right now. Actually, is that empty? Yeah, let's, uh, pick a dollies this away. And delete that. Not a single unit of ion stream was wasted that day. And we'll add a bit more liquid rocket fuel storage. So that we can emp uh, we can deconstruct this with a clean conscience. Oops. I'll definitely leave the spaceship floor here though. The fluids have to slosh around a bit, so we're down to... Okay, it's climbing back up, but we're only doing 400 per second. It's going to take a little while to empty properly. I could add some more down here, but I don't want to. I guess we could... No. Probably not. I can at least get a feel for where this is going to fit. We don't actually have antimatter in this block yet. Oh, how is this ship doing for heat? 670 degrees. That is almost ready. It probably is ready, but I want to be a little bit safe. All right, let's completely fill this out with uh, spaceship floor tiles. How much does that matter if it's antimatter? I see what you did there. Okay. Can we not empty this any quicker? How about... How about if we did this? I can't pick a dollies this. That might help. Fantastic. Still taking a sweet time, 400 per second. We're down to less than 800 per second between the two of them. Alright, I'll check back in on that a little bit later. Still 16 minutes out from our destination. Oh, that's right. Did I already send a ship to Stardew? Um, that being the one of the outposters? Yes, here it is. Fantastic. I think I sent that there a while ago, actually. Um, let's park it right about here. And we'll be able to add the circuitry. So since we've already got this outpost and we've got two different things, depending on the type of probe that we bring out here, um, we need to just add some circuitry and we can use this outpost 
for both of those things. Um, the tricky thing is, the way we designed this the first time, we bring an exact number of space probe rockets and interstellar void probes. We'll be doing the same thing with Arcosphere collectors, but the part where it differs is we get an exact number of uh, interstellar void probe data back. So we're looking for 2,000 per chest. Or 40 stacks. Um, before the ship decides to take off and go back to Nalvis orbit. Uh, here we have, if interstellar void probe data is greater than or equal to 40k, we send the launch signal. Sorry for the late answer, doing some work on a Saturday morning. Friday didn't have much motivation, fair enough. Uh... What kind of work? Or if I may ask. So here we're going to say, like, normally we would just say if Arcosphere's uh, greater than some number, take off. However, the problem is Arcosphere folding. Fastest loss. Allows the use of Arcospheres as extra dimensional pinches. Pincers, rather. Okay, that's pretty spooky. Here it is. Must be launched. Arcospheres are more difficult to find as more are collected. So apparently it gives us diminishing returns. We don't know, auto as far as automation is concerned, we don't know how many Arcospheres we're going to get uh, when we launch our, uh, our Arcosphere collector. Backend PHP, indeed. So I can't... What I, what I think I came up with for how we might do this is we're going to look in these chests for Arcospheres. Uh, and we're going to have a timer. So once the ship arrives... I'm going to set the timer, like, quite long at first. Because I'd rather overestimate it than have the ship go back for no reason. Um, let's see. I could just set it so that any time these, any of these inserters swing, uh, it's going to reset the timer. So we could put, if everything equals zero... If everything equals zero, enable. So it doesn't... Wait, why did I do that? We're not putting this stuff in unless these chests are empty? I don't know why that would be. Got to sleep now, even though this looks fascinating. I'll be back in another stream. Good night. Take care, uh, Volbartic. Uh, good night, but PHP got a lot better and stricter. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, uh, I guess if you're interested in how I solve this, there's always the VOD. So, I don't remember why I set this insert, uh... We've got... I don't have to enforce a stack size of 1, because both of these things are stack size 1 anyway. But I think... No, I can't imagine why I would have done that, actually. Well, I better hope I'm right, 
that there was no reason to do this because it might come back to bite me. So what we're going to do here is read hand contents. Uh, pulse or hold doesn't make a whole lot of difference. It's going to be unconditional. Uh, read hand contents, and we're going to have a timer up here. Uh, and on our timer... Let me just make sure that ship is going to be able to fit. Where are we? Are we still moving? Yeah, we're still moving. Okay, good. Um, I gotta make absolutely sure I don't block the ship from landing. I wish it wasn't so dark. I guess we can add some lights. Do we have lights here? Yeah, we do. Let's at least put them down temporarily. Also, that could probably... Oh, it's not connected. It's fine. It's just for an information wire. Then again... At least for now, I would prefer to be able to see what we're doing. That's probably overdoing it. Not by that much. Uh, it's pretty decent, actually. Okay, so we can see exactly, pretty much exactly where the ship is going to be landing. Um... I need to pass a signal. So instead of Arcosphere greater than 10, we're going to say uh, T is greater than, I don't know what. We need, we need T to reset as soon as the ship gets here. Luckily, we do have the clamp on that side. So we can... Well, I could put the timer way over here, I suppose. We're going to have to pass a signal. You know what? It might be a bit easier conceptually to just keep the logic for interstellar void probe data on this side. Uh, and we can put the logic for arcospheres on this side. Also, let's add a storage chest. So I have to do this in a way that won't interfere with... Uh, ...the ship that's looking for interstellar void probe data. If I just, if I just have a long enough timer, it should be fine. So, I guess, okay, here's something I'm wondering. Um, because the ships, I don't think the ships will take off from a pulse. Top right section, blah, blah, blah. Launch signal. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. The console only checks for changes to the input signal every second. A sustain, sustained signal is required for the ship to react. Single tick pulses will not work. That's a little bit unfortunate. Because if I set, if I set it to launch when time is greater than or equal some num to some number, I'm a little bit scared that when a ship first arrives here, um, it may, you know, if we're, if the insert is swinging is the reset for the timer, 
it may just take off again immediately. So, how do I... Like, if I, if I was able to set it to T equals something specific, that wouldn't be a problem, but it's actually not going to react to that. Or it's like a 1 in... it's it's literally a 1 in 60 chance that it's going to react to that, because we have 60 ticks per second. Is the asteroid cards for science? Yes, indeed. Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we get uh, asteroid... We, we get void probe data, uh, interstellar void probe data, by launching space probe rocket with an interstellar void probe, and it has to be from one of these places, an asteroid field. Daniel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and... Arcosphere collections actually occur in the same place. Must be launched from a space probe rocket silo that is in an asteroid field. Same as this one. Um, so I want to do some clever circuitry so that we can use the one outpost for both of these. Good old deep space sciences, indeed. If interstellar void probe data greater than 40k, we launch. Uh, I guess we're giving it the planet orbit signal. I don't really need this part on this side. We can just put this here. Because if there are no arcospheres to collect, if there are no interstellar void probe data to collect, setting the requests on those buffer chests won't matter. I did one difficult spaceship that did solar, asteroid, and deep space sciences. It would have been better as three separate ships. So you did the science on the ship itself, like with the rocket silo. That's an interesting way to do it. Uh, let's let's build a timer for starters. I don't think just staring at it is going to accomplish too too much. Oh no no, I mean it went off to collect whichever of the three was needed. Okay, fair enough. Um, so we're going to have T for time 1 on the constant combinator. We're going to connect the input to the output for the decider combinator. That's going to create the, the smallest loop that you can get. Uh, and if T is, for example, smaller than 60 output input count T, now we have a timer that repeats every second. Uh, but we... What we want instead... Hmm... Now that I think of it... Arcosphere Collector... What I want is... If we just go like seconds of inactivity on the stack uh, on the inserters here, that'll work. But the only thing that I'm concerned about is does the ship take off the moment it gets back here, because the timer hasn't changed yet. Um. We can detect that a ship is here. Let's see. Do we have... We don't have the spaceship console output connected to anything. 
We do have water being detected from the green wire here. Okay, so without changing anything, if we get any signal from... Whoops. If we get any signal from the green wire, we know that the ship is there. I might need a pair of timers. Just one to make sure the ship doesn't take off for at least a certain amount of time. We could read from this and say if anything greater than zero, output one spaceship, and that, what, where are the bots? Oh, there they go. Uh, and if... When does it reset? It doesn't? How do I... Mm -hmm. I faced this problem before. I kind of wanted a timer that resets once it stops getting an input. Uh, what did I do over here? This was surprisingly complicated, I think. Although we're doing a multi-timer, but that just means using each. Uh, so all of these timers are stuck on arbitrary values, where they stopped. But then we've got a pulse generator. Which only outputs, for example, explosives when explosives is moving forward. Uh, and that way, that way we know when something's changed. This is, this is turning out to be surprisingly tricky. I mean, if I'm lucky... No... That... It'll take like a second or so for the bots to put something in here before we get this inserter swinging and resetting this timer. So I don't think... I don't think we can... I really don't think we can count on the ship just not instantly leaving if we run it off of that one timer. Why the timers are not cargo counts? Because the... Uh, Arcospheres are more difficult to find as more are collected. So we don't know how many Arcospheres we're going to get. So basically... Basically we need the equivalent of... Some number of seconds of inactivity before the ship leaves. Except I also have to make sure the ship doesn't instantly leave. And I can't... Because the uh, spaceship console uh, only checks an input once per second, I can't just have it set to something like T equals 5000 or whatever. Because it'll more than likely miss that. If I set it to T is greater than or equal to 5000, that timer is going to be running when the ship isn't here. It's going to be at a very high number. The ship's going to get here. Uh, it's instantly going to receive a signal that says take off, and it'll probably take off in one second. The Arco Sphere collection is a math formula, e.g. launch 90, and you get 24 Arco Spheres from that location. One to three from the RNG. If you haven't taken the free ones, it'll be more. Wait, so because I found some Arcospheres, we're starting off worse off with the... Uh, with the diminishing returns? You just need a decider on the timer's loopback, so it cuts the loop if it loses signal. Yeah. That is one thing I'm considering here. 
so I wanted to do if each grade greater than zero coming from here, that means the ship is detected. Uh, and then we can do a timer uh, based on that. I might need another decider. I guess that's not too difficult of a way to do it. We might be able to do it with fewer combinators, but I want to figure out something that works first. There's a global pool of Arcos and then a localized per asteroid field. Interesting. Okay, so... Uh, if everything equals zero, that means there's no ship. Signal R for reset. If reset equals zero, output input count spaceship. Uh, this should give us a... Yeah, I can simulate it. This should give us a count of how long the ship has been there. And when the ship leaves, it'll go back to zero for the spaceship signal. I could use another one, like, uh, that would make more sense. Eh, this makes enough sense. Corpse. We're going to use the corpse signal, obviously. I might consider... I think there's, like, a sub-mod of AAI that just gives you all the signals. Uh, there's a lot more stuff to work with that way. All right, so we'll connect this up. We detect water in the ship. Therefore, there is a ship. Why is this set to one? Output spaceship input count. If anything greater than zero, output one spaceship, which we are outputting. Oh, I didn't connect this wire. So everything is not equal to zero. Don't send signal R. And for a hundred ticks, we've had a spaceship here, allegedly. Switch this off, and that signal disappears. Cool. So we can detect how long the spaceship has been here. I mean, I could make assumptions that if the spaceship has been here X amount of time, everything's been done. Or, wait, I have a better idea. Now that we've built this, we can just read hand contents from the inserters. And if anything is detected, we pulse R and we're going to reset that timer. Anything greater than zero, output one R. We'll put this up here. Okay, so if ship is here, output one spaceship. That's like our constant combinator that we normally have on a timer. Output spaceship input count if R equals zero. Two conditions for the reset. There's no ship or the inserters have stopped swinging. Uh, and that will give us... That will give us the amount of ticks that... The spaceship has been here without the inserters swinging. And we can say... Well, I don't know how long this recipe takes. Um... And until I do, we're just going to set this to something really high. Uh, to make sure, but let's say if spaceship uh, greater than, hmm, let's say five minutes, uh, that's five seconds, 18,000 ticks. I'm sure that will be completely overkill. Um, and we'll observe it when the ship comes out here the first time. 
So once the spaceship signal is greater than 18k, we'll output, whoops, uh, we'll output spaceship launch signal to go to the spaceship console. And that should pretty much do it. Wait, why is this not moving? Oh, this is switched off. Okay, cool. So there's our timer. Uh, in the end, that was sort of easier and more succinct than I thought it would be. Oops. The first 200 to 300 Arcos are very easy to collect. If you put a decider combinator checking for ship presence, time is going to stay at zero. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this should work. Uh, should. I guess we didn't actually need wires going all the way around this way. We can just do the logic for uh, interstellar void probes on this side. We can still input the set requests and the destination on this side for both. And then on this side we just have the logic for when to launch the ship. So fi five minutes of inactivity on these inserters. And that'll that'll actually work regardless of which of these ships uh, are here. But that's the way it's going to have to be for Arcospheres. We can launch the ship the moment we've got all of our interstellar void probe data back. Cool. Now the only question is, was there actually a reason for this thing to have everything has to equal zero? And it was reading from these passive provider chests. I guess I could do both. That actually shouldn't affect... I mean, we'll get pulses where this is disabled when these inserters pick up the output, but that's, like, effectively irrelevant. Literally one tick of this being disabled. Uh, and the green wire only goes to this inserter, so it's not going to affect this circuit. Yeah, I don't know, I don't remember why I did this, but we don't need to get rid of that logic. Cool. Um, just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to put this decider combinator in about the same spot as this one on this side, so we know that that's what that's for. That looks fairly readable. We've got our timer and three conditions for it. And we can get rid of this now. That should pretty much cover it. Now I'm really looking forward to... Uh, bringing some... Bringing our ship out here to see if this works. We are pretty far ahead of it. Uh, I guess I could add some more of these while we're here. May as well. It'll use ever so slightly more power, but... I don't think we need to worry about... We don't actually have the point defenses, never mind. Uh, I don't think those need to... Whoa, no, no, no. Don't quick charge. I don't think those need to be... Fast inserters, though. Since every little passive kilowatt of power consumed is slowly running out of water, just that little bit faster. We don't actually have the slow inserters, though. Never mind. I'm trying to work out how to collect asteroid data with spaceships with chat plays. Can't fly out there myself myself as I'll die while offline. Oh no. Wait, uh, if you stay in the spaceship, you've got... 
if you stay in the spaceship or in uh, Spidertron, any vehicle, I think, uh, you don't actually need life support. It's just sort of assumed that you have infinite life support inside the Spidertron. Four minutes to our destiny. Wow. We are so far out there. And in such a short time. Might be feasible then? Yeah. Might do. Okay. Um, I don't think there's a reason for our outposter to stay at Stardew. And it will very slowly burn nuclear fuel. Very, very slowly. But it's a short trip anyway. Let's send it back to Narvis Orbit. Yeah, that was a little bit easier than I thought it would be, ultimately. I, I guess I was just looking at the problem a little bit sideways. Or maybe I just happened... Maybe I just haven't happened to build a timer with this many conditions on it before. Okay. Do we have... We should have that fuel drained. Fantastic. And we can copy paste this design and start editing it to have antimatter instead. Uh, we will need some. Is that water? No, that's... Hmm... There should just barely... Wait, I, what if I build this up here? That actually lines up. Nope, don't have room at the front. If I build it here, the water tank refill line up, line that we have happens to line up. And there should just barely be room. Well, we, we kind of need probably to make sure that it fits in the same footprint anyway. Uh, there's a little bit more room back here. Um, but yeah, uh, we do have room to build and edit this here. Uh, but first, could you perhaps not overfill the water? Thank you. I've been playing Satisfactory for the past seven hours and my brain hurts. Uh, what have you been doing in Satisfactory? Is. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I'm going to remove that extra floor there so we know where our limits are. That's something to sort of look forward to, actually. In trying to design blueprints to go all the way through space exploration from this from the start uh trying to build lower tech ships that really smoothly transition into being higher tech ships spaceship tile decon is useful indeed all right uh let's get rid of the ion And I was going to say, I suppose I need to get antimatter over here. We we still have... Oh. That's in an awkward spot, actually. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three. We could just squeeze it in here. If I want to do another drop off for antimatter, instead of just piping it from all the way over here. Speaking of which, uh, it seems we're running a little low. Oh, that's right. We're still trying to fill this up. I was about to check on that. Uh, it is half full. Uh, 25k times 28. Uh, seven train loads. Minus what we need to take off. Six train loads of antimatter? I think it's probably worth sending that downstairs. We are still making it. We've run out of plasma stream. Oh, there's a bit more coming, though. Hmm. What did I set this to over here? 204,000. I think I might do the same thing over here for antimatter stream. So that we can have a couple of trains... Uh, a couple of trains scheduled to come here at the same time. But I suspect we are actually getting low. Yeah, that doesn't actually have a train load. This one does, though. That's the one that we're picking up. Okay, I think we will send this to Narvis already. So let's pretend... Uh, ...that we're not waiting for this to be full. Hello? Oh, I didn't turn this on yet. Okay, fair enough. Alright, less than 49k. Off you go. Antimatter shuttle. How fast is it going to get, I wonder? before it reaches its destination. 40, 45, 50, and it had to shoot down like four, five, six tiny little asteroids. And I calculated, this is actually with a pretty big safety buffer. If we've got about 2,000 antimatter stream in each uh, booster tank here. The ship should have no trouble taking off. Let's see. Launch energy. 13,500 out of 326 gigajoules. Uh, is 41 times what we need. So yeah, uh, waiting till it gets down to 2k should be perfectly safe. Your UPS seems higher today. I have been clearing away a few old things. That might be why. Oh, that reminds me, oddly enough. Uh, we've got some stuff over here I've been neglecting. We still don't have power because we didn't put down pylon substation. Uh, we need some beacons over here as well. Uh, I think, I think, I think I want just speed on the pump jacks. I don't care if they're consuming a bit more power. How fast are they going at the moment? 5.7k. That'll taper off eventually, but still. That's pretty fast. Uh, we also need... It'll, it'll taper off, but for now we should design our station 
to receive fluid as fast as possible. One, two. And pumps. And pipe. Uh, we can just make that a standard pickup. This one can get a front row seat. Why are the bots hovering? Uh, short trains are permissible. Provide threshold 100k. I guess we could add some more storage as well. But I'll just read from these ones. And we'll pretend that there's a little bit less crude oil than there really is. Um, because these tanks can never really be completely full. And there's just enough in eight of them uh, to trigger a train delivery. I could just read these as well, actually. That might be simpler. Okay, Mr. Pipe over here, but it might be better in this case to connect that directly. Alright, let's connect... Let's connect this in a number of places. Probably should be adding some pumps as well. That's a good fit. Have to think of it. No, that's fine. Uh, that could be a sub. And I'll put one of these here. Or did I already do that? Alright, so our current rate, 5.7k. Oh, that's right, I wanted to swap out the modules in this one. Nothing but speed this time. And then, 8,000. We're definitely going to have some trouble keeping up with that, with the pipe throughput. Uh, this can go here, I suppose. Let's minimize the number of pipes. Speaking of which, I should have done this before. many convenient places to connect it all. Oh, we need this one to be a sub. Probably a good idea to add a pump to that also. to allow at least a couple of trains. And... The spiders are horrendously overfilled. They didn't even build a lot of this rail. Alright, rather than build this one out here for now, let's... Uh,
Let's see if we can't get them to finish that on the way back. And in any case, I'll send them back to the mall. To hopefully get emptied. Hey, we finally finished deconstructing this stuff. I saw three pump jacks not working. Uh, where? Are they blocked? Yeah, they have power, right? Yeah, we need to cram more pumps and pipes all over the place. It will slow down over time, but we could still do better here. Oh, wow, this thing's already full. I don't know how necessary that really is, though. Especially... Hmm. If I add more storage, we could have more trains queued up to come here simultaneously. Something to consider. Oh, we're here. Wow, that's kind of soon. Alright, huge planet, waterless... Some biters, Infamani, that's not the button I was looking for, Archaeology, Infamani, did I miss it? I must have, I can't do the passive scroll thingy, oh there it is. Right, let's land right next to the pyramid. There's practically no biters here. Oh, I forgot to put on my lasers. That's fucky bucky. Another speed. Uh, efficiency, actually. It seems like productivity modules are deliberately rarer at these places. One between the spiders and the left beacon, and two below where spiders were. Wucky wucky, indeed. Ninja dogs, good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Step outside so the janitor can do their thing. Thank you, janitor. And zoom in a little bit more. Screenshot. Don't have my paint program ready, but I've got the screenshot. Get ready to take off. Cringe slightly at how much fuel this is going to cost. Uh, Star Fury. Have we actually been? No, we haven't. 0%, lots of coal, decent sized planet. Nice. Let's launch. And we go from 46k to 38k in each of the tanks. Rip. This one doesn't have any. Alright, so that was Infamani. Let's save this. Uh, dot .jpg Infamani. Let me just check the spelling. Infam A N I. Yeah, cool. That's the wrong channel. Alright, drop that in the SE Mysteries. If anyone else is trying to crack the code. 
And we're already only a minute out from the next planet. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go slap some antimatter engines on this thing. Uh, I guess the middle... The middle is based on the spaceship console this time. Alright, so let's do a pair of antimatter engines. Like so, that's actually a pretty good fit. Because we can put our antimatter booster tanks right here. And in an overabundance of caution, let's add this much fuel. Since we have the space for it anyway. And I guess we're just going to trim that part. Where's that ship? Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad thing if the ship gets a bit smaller. Uh, we need to wait for a lot more, a much higher temperature before this thing will be operational. So let's not try taking it off just yet. We also need antimatter fuel, that would probably be a good idea. Um, maybe I should either extend this robo network out somewhere, or create a new block for building ships that use antimatter since this is really getting to be kind of slapped together. But on the other hand... We can still fit a drop-off for antimatter here. Oh yeah, and I wanted to check, did we get antimatter delivered? Here yet. We did not. We're definitely requesting it. Um, yeah. We have antimatter over here. I probably didn't change this from a request threshold. So this is a pickup station with provide threshold. 100k. Uh, we should be seeing a train scheduled to pick this up quite soon. Actually, let me just change the name of the station. No path. Oh, you're trying to go to that new oil pickup. Uh, empty map. Uh, stream. I don't see blue flashing down here, so we do have enough fluid trains. Even though one of them is tied up trying to go down here. Oh, we're here already. What do we got? This was the coal planet with no biters, right? Fantastic. Let's anchor. Pop in unannounced. Grab the prod module. Fantastic. Oh, that's a different looking symbol on this one. It's very squarish. Step outside for the janitor. Thank you, janitor. And screenshot. Oh, 
What's this planet called, I wonder? I like how we can casually go to planets so easily we don't even know the name of the planet we're on. Uh, Star Fury. It's kind of a weirdly cool planet name. It's also the name of an excellent weapon in Terraria. And let's throw that in. Whoops. Okay. Where are we going next? This star... We don't have to go to Thune. This star is pretty far from other places. How much fuel did we use up? Not that much. We can probably go... All the way to Staterius. Uh, we've got a fairly big, but not that massive planet to visit. And make that two. This one's even bigger, though. It might have to be spread over a couple of trips. Uh, we've only got th three places to visit, but the radiuses are 6.1k, 7.6k, and 5.6k. And we've and, and it's as far as it gets from Calidus. So, we'll see. Why don't we head for... Hooray first. And we'll see what our fuel looks like after that. Away we go. And this thing is probably warm enough. Yeah, this is only using 500 degrees heat exchanges. This is much more than warm enough. Off you go the zombie? I don't think so. Oblong... seven? I wonder how close we are getting to bottlenecking on the mine as opposed to the ships. Uh, if we do actually bottleneck on the mine, we can literally just make another one in the same place. And we can use all of the same uh, clamp signals and circuitry and everything, the same settings. Uh, so it's not too difficult. How many bots do we have in motion here? Uh, 150. No, wait, we've only got 30 in motion. Oh, these chests are actually empty. I think it's too soon to say that we're bottlenecking on the mine itself. Because we've got a big gap here in ships coming out. A hey, mucky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Still in the solar system. All right. So our antimatter update for this ship is pretty much complete. Um, I don't think. Wait, 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 wait. There will be one thing that's different about this ship. It's going to be clamping to a different anchor ID in this location. I think I was going to put that here. Vario, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so how do I do this? I, I, I thought through it before, but I haven't actually done this yet. 
That's right. I was going to have... Why is this one 6370 on the right? So it's... I think I remember, actually. 637 when we're here. And I think Stardew... I set it to 6370 for some reason. Oh yeah, that's right. I was changing that when I was figuring out how I would do this. So at Stardew, the clamp ID is 6370. And... When we're here, we clamp to a different ID. Um, I could just make this 638, I guess. Um, and it'll be the one on the left. Since, unless I use some kind of circuitry to keep changing the signals, I can only do... Right clamps to left X, left clamps to right X. So right clamps to 6370 when we go out there. And when we come back, left target right clamp is 638. I think that covers it. Um, as for the rest, we're using set requests, so we don't have to do anything with the ship itself. Uh, the clamp IDs can stay... I guess these could be 638. I don't need to, but... But I just find that a little bit easier to deal with to keep it straight in my head. Uh, we were going to do... Hello, Shades. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oops. We were going to do... Antimatter drop-off here. Oh, I can actually fit that there around the vanilla train stop as well. Calculated. I may as well just copy these settings. Oh, that one's a bit weird, actually. Scale the summit. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, so that lines up. One, two, three, four. Now we have our antimatter that we need to bring down here. It's going to be a little bit awkward. Can we get that across? Not quite. And how about 15 -er? Oh, that's going to be awkward as well. Underground pipe. Where are you going? I can just barely cross this. And then, what's that, four tiles? Bloody even numbers. And we can pump this down this way. We don't have any antimatter coming. That's a little bit concerning, but I'm not terribly surprised at this point. Um, we did just spend a while filling up, or half filling up, a huge tanker to take antimatter down to Nalvis. 
which uh, we did actually finally get delivered to where it needs to go. Fantastic. So we can patch all of our deep space miners to antimatter now. Blue Lightning, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, six months, much appreciated. Thanks very much. Uh, so what's going on with antimatter? We have... We have no super cooled thermo fluid, of all things. I did calculate before that when we're going all out producing antimatter, this thing's actually too fast for all three of our blocks making thermo fluid. Uh, by about twice as much. So it shouldn't be too surprising, but once we've caught up, it, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Thank you for all the streams. You're welcome. Alright. Uh, well, I want to get this thing... I guess there's no rush. Because until we can do Arcosphere collection... Oh, I'm already trying to research that. Yeah, until we get this researched, I can't actually uh, test this thing out. What did I call this other ship over here? Interstellar Void Probe Ferry? Sure. And just to be absolutely perfectly sure, this thing can, in fact, fit over here. I don't think we'll actually be needing that one. We will need antimatter delivered over here, though. But I'm not going to rush uh, into requesting that, since we're still trying to catch up on antimatter. I will get the spiders over there so uh get the spiders over there so that we can build the circuit logic though. And the bring the water resupply over. Do you have a deep space field called Foenestra? Yes indeed. Uh we've been there. We got a bunch of free Naquium solar panels and accumulators and stuff. Uh, we also got a giant wedding ring. I got this uh, little jury rig structure here, but we don't have enough Naquium processors that we got for free somewhere else to actually make this work, so we're waiting on... We're waiting on some science before we can play with this more. And science is just waiting on Naquitite, which we're trying to speed up with a passion. Did you assemble the rig? No, I don't have enough... Um, Naquium processors. I got eight for free from playing with a giant spider. But... I mean, chat did a lot of the work, to be honest. I figured out the first few just by visualizing, but it got way too hard to do after, a, like, half of them. Uh, but yeah, we are a little bit... It's actually Deep Space Science 3 before we can make our own Naquium processes. I did come up with a slightly better layout um, for the engines and or booster tanks back here that saves a little bit of space, but on the other hand we lose room for a second flat solar panel or a roboport, uh, and it's like one tile, so I still like this design quite well. 
I was watching another guy and he found the ring, but it was broken in several pieces. Yeah, you... Uh, spoiler alert. You literally pick up the pieces and just place them back down like buildings. Uh, and if you place them all in the right place, they they go back together. Literally just a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> I was not expecting it to work that way. Ten minutes until we get to one of our most distant stars. Very cool. Thanks? Was I too quick with the spoiler? Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry I missed that. My internet died. Uh, I was just saying... Spoiler alert. Uh, what what happens with the broken pieces at Foenestra? Which is... You literally just pick them up and then place them down just like any other building. Uh, and if you put them all in the right place, they go back together. Alright, when are we getting antimatter over here? And did I miss any... No, I think that's looking pretty good. We've got our... How many R's am I going to get here? <laughs> Badges, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, spiders have almost arrived. Alright, so we need to say... Why did I do these three signal colors here? Did I just put that there to demonstrate something and forgot? This is really weird. If everything greater than or equal to zero. Oh, I had to have a signal here of any kind whatsoever. So that once we had 40 space probe rockets and 40 interstellar void probes, this would be... Because if... Hmm. No, I think everything equals zero. If there's, It's true when there's no input, so this doesn't make any sense. I'm not worried about spoilers, I knew every single boss of Dark Souls 3 before I played it and still loved it. Okay. Not how everyone feels about it, of course. Uh, we've got... On each side, the green wire... No, the green wire on the right side sets requests. This chest is just arbitrary slash resupply. No set requests on that one. I guess we do need the clamp on the right side if we're going to go by the same design. Yeah, so we're bringing two space probe rockets, two probes of whichever type, one stack of media point defense ammo just in case. Uh, and we're leaving room in the rest of the chest for void probe data that comes back. We get a thousand from each void probe. And we're doing that on a per chest basis. Uh, Arco spheres are going to be pretty much the same, except I'm sure we'll not be filling up the chests very much, even on the first trip. So, I should copy this. I think we already have it, actually. On this. Yep, good. Perfect. We will need to give it water. It's going to be a little awkward. Uh, this should be 638, actually. And I'm going to need...
need to run a pipe. Also, yeah, I guess we will put the Arcosphere pickup over here. I guess 160 is a lot of Arcospheres, right? I have no idea. I could just do a short train on this side. Since we won't need that much antimatter. And I doubt we're going to be needing long trains for Arcospheres. We can always change it. So something like that, but less. I don't think we need... Oh, I see what I was doing there. Considering the stack size is one, uh, I don't think we're going to need a whole lot of chests for this. So it's a pickup and a drop off. And we're going to be requesting 180k. Uh, no, not 180k actually. Fluid Wagon brings 25k. So we'll say 20,000. If the target is 50,000 antimatter stream, but we have to have 30,000 missing, theoretically that sh should be just fine. I'll set the provide threshold to 1 since un until I until I know better, until we see. Whoops. Just what the throughput of Arcospheres is going to look like. And then... Short trains only. And this is... Arcosphere. Provider. Antimatter stream. Requester. That's not in the robot network. I haven't seen exactly where these pipes are going to go yet. If we could just get a little bit of antimatter in this ship, we could move it, bringing up this slot, and we could see where that's going to go. We've almost got enough for a pickup. Why don't I crank up the priority on this one temporarily? Okay. How much antimatter do we have here? 12k. It must be... It's not in motion right now. It must be just below enough for a pickup. We just need thermofluid. And thermofluid may be on the way. Uh, Mr. Nafka, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Three months, much appreciated. Appreciate it very much, thank you. Seven and a half minutes until we get to this distant star. And then... Uh... What else can I set up before I actually put that ship here? Red wire from either side is valid. Green wire from the right to set requests. Green wire on the left only reads the water level. That's fine. 
Okay. I guess I could just connect... Well, no, if I connect both the storage tanks, then we have to adjust this to be less than, like, 49,000 and something. And it, there's going to be more of a lag time uh, with the water tank filling up, so we're going to overfill it a little bit more. It's going to be a bit dangerous, so I don't really want to do it that way. Um, we are reading the total contents of all of the storage here, subtracting that from the robot network, and that tells us what's in this ship, but we've got two different ships. And we're just checking that interstellar void probe data equals zero. And also, everything greater than or equal to zero. But this is output. Oh, I see the reason I got... I, I see why I put these signals here. Because it's connected to this train stop input. Which gives us a green light signal, for example. And if that gets multiplied by negative one, that's going to confuse things a bit. Okay. What is that connected to? Oh, I see. That looks a little bit confusing. With the red wire. That's a little bit better, I guess. Okay, so on the red wire, we don't have any negatives, but this thing's outputting like negative 387 scaffolding. Oh, I see. Yeah, positive scaffolding comes from here. So we've got... 97? I think that's what's in here. Yeah, 97 scaffolding. Okay. It's going to be a little bit more complicated because we're, we've got two ships here. I'm just thinking if I have to change this at all. Like, I might just change this to... That's no good, actually. Oh no, because they share space probe rockets, this is actually a problem. I was briefly thinking I could have it check for 80 space probe rockets, but then both of the ships have to be here at the same time for that circuit logic to be valid. If we were only checking for interstellar void probes and interstellar void probe data, it wouldn't be a problem. But because both of these ships are going to be using space probe rockets, uh, it becomes a problem to deduce how much is in the set request chests. Hmm... I could... It's a little... Ah, uh, no. This thing counts on having a precise count of... Well, not this thing, but rather the outpost over here. I guess it doesn't anymore count on having a precise count of space probe rockets and void probes that come in. Because it also leaves after five minutes of inactivity. I would prefer to be able to keep it so that we send out exactly the right amount of stuff, though. If we wait until there's... Uh, 80... 80 probe... Uh, space probe rockets in the entire logistic network, 
we should be able to count on there being 40 space probe rockets in whichever ship, except for the time that it takes the bots to actually get there, which isn't long, but... But still. This thing has been sitting here with a huge haul of uh, probe data for a long time, though. It's not going to be taking off very often. Hmm. I might just have to assume that we have enough space probe rockets and check up, check for interstellar void probes in this ship and uh, arcosphere collectors in the other ship. We, we've had, we, we've never had the slightest problem having enough space probe rockets. We made those long before we ever used them. And they're not terribly expensive, if I recall correctly. Okay, they're kind of expensive, but we just haven't had any issue keeping up with them before. It's more the cost of the void, uh, the probes that go with them that's uh, an issue. I think they take 2,000 blank data cards each. 1,000 each. It's quite a lot. That's an understatement <laughs> to say that's quite a lot. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna... There's no other way to do it, right? I could ca oh yes there is, I can count how many ships are parked here. So... Decider Combinator... If we detect water here... Oh wait. No, this thing's... Well, I was gonna say if anything greater than zero. But it doesn't have to be that generic. These signals will make this false, but if we actually look for water, and we can kind of assume that this will never be empty, partly because we always have at least, like, some fumes of water in a storage tank. It, it, it's almost never completely empty, unless we're deliberately pumping it out. So we can say... I could also connect this uh, console output if I wanted to. But this is, this is fine for this. So if water is greater than zero, spaceship count is one. And on this side as well, same thing. And then we're going to need... I was going to say we would need two more combinators, but we can change this to uh, space probe rocket, and then multiply that by negative 40. So we remove it from the constant combinator. Probe rocket times negative 40 as probe rocket. Oh, I could have... Let's do this, just so it's kind of clearer what we're doing here. So we're counting spaceships, and then spaceships times negative 40 as probe rocket is our output here. So because we've got one spaceship parked, uh, the signal is negative 40 space probe rockets. And on the opposite side, we're going to do more or less the same thing. We're going to say if Arcosphere 
in the spaceship equals zero. That's one condition to take off. Uh, if everything greater than or equal to zero, just like over here, take off. Except instead of interstellar void probes, we're looking for 40 arcosphere collectors. Um, and I guess I might have to swap the wire color on this side so that we can have, we can use the same signal sources here. Yeah, that doesn't have a green wire connected to it. Uh, we can use the same signal sources here without any crosstalk. That should be fine. So, if everything greater than or equal to zero, output green signal. If two green signals, spaceship launch. The, the one negative signal we have here is negative 40 arcosphere collectors. Uh, we also need to connect this thing up as well with the green wire. Uh, so we also are looking for... Once the ship lands here, this ship count is going to go up to 2. So we're going to be outputting negative 80 space probe rockets. Uh, so there needs to be... If both ships are parked... There needs to be 80 space probe rockets in the ships before any launch signals will be sent. Yeah, that, that was pretty neat actually. Alright, so we need to get some water over here. I could be really cheeky and pump the water through here, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, do we have any antimatter up here yet so I can move the ship? Still no. Uh, all it should have taken is one delivery. Here we go. Is it picking up or... No, it's going back home. This train is bringing us our thermal fluid. Thermo fluid. So once it gets to the antimatter here, we should get... Really, we just need a trickle of antimatter. If I had a pump here, it might even make the difference so that we have enough antimatter to trigger a train delivery. Uh, but yeah, once that arrives, we'll get antimatter up here. We can finally move this ship. Actually, well, I was going to say I shouldn't move it yet. And that is what I should say, because if I launch it however briefly, it's going to run out of power. Well, it's, it's going to have no power, period. There's no accumulators on this thing. We need the 5000 degree temperature on the energy beam receiver before we move this anywhere. Alright. So I guess we're waiting on that anyway. There's probably no need to prioritize this, but I'll still do it for now. And... We need to run... Antimatter fuel into the ship here, that'll be easy. We need water to come all the way over here. Uh, that is less easy. I don't think that's going to reach, is it? Not even close. And how many more tiles? This is slightly in the way. How about we tidy this up a bit? I feel like that is... Did it have to crisscross like that? I guess we could do it that way. Ah, uh, that looks worse. 
All right. So we need some water this way. 15 plus 5. And what do we have here? 13. Okay, and we've got... I didn't connect it yet. Uh, we've got a request here for two space probe rockets, two Arcosphere uh, collectors, and a stack of media point defense ammo per chest. Uh, destination is exactly the same. That should be fine. Okay, where are we headed? One minute to our destination. Fantastic. And we'll see how much fuel we have after visiting Ore. Uh, I think I forgot to delete surface on these ones. That one we didn't actually visit. And... How many balls are we juggling with right now? Did the spiders get cleaned out, or do they have a million bots hovering over them? I think we've only got one or two with that problem. Which one are you trying? Oh, there we go. I'm having trouble finding the problem. We've got a split stack somewhere. There, there we go. There we go. Fantastic. Is that actually the only one? Or do we have some bots, like, hovering way over here for some reason? No, it seems okay. Why is this missing? I think I forgot to add signals like so as well. Let's do that. I need two of these here. They're kind of hard to spot. Oh, there we go. I should look at the colors on the rail. That's an easier way to see where we're trying to place these. Might be a bit excessive. Don't really need this many. Why do we have rail missing? Now that one does have a ghost at least. Okay. Well, that should be more than enough, regardless. Alright, let's get our construction spiders to finish what they started. And hopefully we'll see that train reaching its destination quite soon. May as well add some signals here as well. Alright, where are we putting our station? And just copy paste this for the most part. And I'm 
thinking about here. This goes up this way. That's pretty convenient, actually. One off. Rip. Let's add a pump. And on the other side as well. Same thing here. The aesthetic, and at least one more, maybe in the middle. Move that over a tile. One off again. How dare you? And can we maybe also squeeze um, in this way? That's looking a little bit like a problem. I think we'll just do a little S bend. And then once more. That one lines up. Fantastic. bit more storage as well. Alright, it's going to be a minute before the spiders get there. you love to see it. Chests full of Holmium cable. We are here. Do we have biters? Just barely. Uh, hooray. Where is it? Not in alphabetical order, that's for sure. Hooray. Wait, there is one. Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. They're usually right next to the center, but we had a couple that weren't. Let's drop in and say hello. Ooh, another prod. How many have we picked up? Three on this trip alone. Fantastic. Step outside for the janitor. Thank you, janitor. Grab a screenshot of this. I thought I saw movement, but no. On to the next one. What? What the? Okay, I can squeeze in there. Whoa, SE Law, indeed. Costco Taquitos, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Me, dos. It's probably our next location. Oh, our fuel is still looking pretty good, actually. We can probably do everything in this solar system before we head back. Probably. Uh, so, let me just grab that screenshot, crop it a bit. And save as, what was that planet called? H-O-R-A-E. And throw it in the SE Mysteries channel. Oh, 
Hooray, indeed. Oh, auto save time. It's kind of good timing. Uh, and Tom, Tom Lee, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so we've got Idos, not Conan, Bombato, and I think one more. No. It's just Bombato. Oh, I almost forgot Idos. Okay, so we've got us. Idos is really big, actually. 7,651 radius. I'm pretty sure we probably have enough, but I should check my fuel after we do Idos. We might have to go straight home. I'm not exactly sure how much fuel we need to get back, but. It's a little bit far if we get stuck out here. I guess I would have to make a rescue ship. No, the ships can't actually dock, can they? I would have to... Ooh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, to properly rescue this ship, I would have to make... Um... I would have to bring a particle accelerator and some super cooled thermo fluid and some antimatter canisters and we'd have to output the thermo fluid or delete it just so that we can turn this into antimatter stream to refuel this ship. Yeah, I I don't I don't want to I don't want to get stuck out here. No, thank you. But I'm sure we can afford one more planet, at least. Uh, even if it is a big planet. Depending on how much it costs to take off from here. Um, we'll see. I would prefer it if we can get both of these done while we're out here. I don't want to do a whole other trip just for the one planet. A-I-D-O-S. Um, where is... There it is. Looks like it's pretty far from any fighters. Almost there anyway. And anchor. Another speed bunker. for the janitor. Thank you, janitor. Grab a screenshot. And we're off. And cringe in anticipation of how much fuel it's going to cost to take off from here. We've got 24k in each tank. Let's suppose that we do go to Bombato. How much fuel do we have left? 24k becomes 17k. Okay, no. I think I think we'd better go home. Just to be safe. Uh even though even though it's only Bombato out here that we haven't been to yet. 
It's unfortunate. Alright, back to Nervous Orbit. Janitor missed some goo that time? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, let's make a little snip of this. And cut. What was, whoops. Uh, what was this called? I, Idos. A-I-D-O-S. Chuck it in the Discord. Can't you just call over a different antimatter ship and transfer some fuel if you run out? Unfortunately, no, uh, Ragathian. Because when you set your target to another spaceship, uh, all it does is, once you catch up with it, assuming you're both stopped, you can, uh, instead of like anchor to, it'll say board name of the ship. And all it does is teleports your player character behind the ship. So it's not like you can park them next to each other and transfer fuel across or anything like that. Unfortunately. Alright, so that's going to be... Actually, how long is it going to be? 42 minutes. It's a pretty long trip for an antimatter ship, but it's almost as long of, of, of a trip that as we're ever going to make. I meant you meet up on the planet or in orbit. That could work. That's a good idea, actually. Okay, so the ships in motion are pretty much separate instance areas? Yeah. Yeah, they're on their own surface. You could if you were stranded on a planet though, right? Yes, yes, that's good thinking. Yeah, orbit is... Uh, orbit would be a good way to do it. What? Oh, I see what happened here. Do we have any more like that? Yes, we do. Yeah, sometimes when you place ghosts, uh, normally it would automatically mark the cliffs for destruction. But occasionally, when they're in just the wrong spot, it won't do that. We have a short train coming. Oh, okay. I think this one should probably just be long trains. But the fact that the train is in motion tells us that this is all working. And what about this one? We don't have power yet. Pylon substation. Let's place the beacon first. Or two beacons, I imagine. Can't have it both ways with those ones. If I move this down here, we lose one and gain one. Doesn't really make much difference. And over here. Hmm. Okay, if we get as many as possible with this beacon... Uh, what do we do with this one? I don't think there's a particularly good answer here. I guess we can do it like that. Maybe you can design a fuel ship that 
just hauls and resupplies you when you're out. Yeah, I would have to if... Uh, no path, I was a little bit afraid of that. I thought that wasn't the first... Oh, they haven't fixed this yet, that's why. That's fine. That is fine. Alright, I was going to copy-paste these speed beacons. And we will need some pylon substation. Just one, actually. Love these things. So first time you go to another planet, you got to be sure you're ready to send everything to get back? Uh, I suppose so. I mean, worst case, you could always make a cargo rocket that you send to that planet. Um, because oddly enough, one advantage of cargo ro uh, that cargo rockets have over spaceships is they actually sort of just teleport to their destination. Um, although the further you send them, the more likely they are to crash and lose quite a lot of their cargo. But they're actually kind of perfect for getting off of a planet that you're stuck on. Unless it's waterless or something, and then it's a little bit more tricky. Yeah, cargo rocket's good for that. Okay. Uh, where are we now? Trains are humming along. Very good. I don't think there's... Oh, there's another huge patch of oil over here that we haven't exploited. I'll just have to keep tapping them until we stop getting... We have this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're fine. Uh, until we stop bottlenecking on petroleum upstairs. Alright, so what are we doing now? Uh, do we have antimatter here? Yes, we do. Fantastic. Um, I can get rid of the excessive priority on this station. In fact, if anything, it can be a lower priority. Because... This is not where we need a throughput of antimatter stream. Uh, the antimatter... Well, there's only one place where we're picking up antimatter on Nalvis so far. And that's, uh, that's for our two or three deep space miner ships that use antimatter. So that throughput's not going to be very high for a while. Speaking of which, I don't think I I did, actually. Let's make another one. I'm just going to keep adding to these until, until we bottleneck on the actual mine itself. The Oblongata. Uh, Oblong Lobolata. We might getting there sooner than expected. How fast does this create Aquatite? Almost 12 per second. And our little block over here consumes 24 per second, so we need another mine if we're going to keep this thing going. With enough survivability research, the cargo rockets are much more efficient. <laughs> oh no. That's a lot of survivability research, though. I guess at this stage, Astro Science Pack 1 is pretty cheap. How close are we to getting Naquatite? Ooh. Kind of close, actually, to getting an, a very big automatic delivery of Naquim ingots and plates upstairs. Not bad. 
so we're getting there, despite the fact that Jetpack Equipment 4 has been on 54% for quite a while. What's the base survivability? Uh, negative 7,000, feels like. I don't know. Rocket survivability. How do I trace this back? This is number two, actually. Reduces the chance that a rocket gets damaged in transit or have a navigation failure that results in the landing pad by 10%. That doesn't tell us where it starts. Um, cargo safety. Landing chance requires landing pad. Doesn't Alessandro have a landing pad? Where's one that is aimed at a landing pad? This one? Landing chance is still only 99.75%. And that's... That, that feels like XCOM percentages when you get... Uh, quite a lot of cargo rockets bringing different things to orbit that you're sending all the time. So not dis not a displayed base amount on a or clear formula to Google, indeed. Uh, yeah, it does change. Uh, the further you have to send the rocket, the more often it crashes. Okay, we're just about ready to move this thing then. Oh, what about the temperature? It's still only. 2.5 thousand degrees. Uh, we're gonna have to wait till that doubles. Do I have any spare? I do. Oh wait, I was about to build another ship here. And that was one of the reasons that I had a spare energy beam transmitter. Hey, Raren. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Thank you. XCOM percentages cheats, though. It compensates and raises the chance to hit every consecutive time you miss. Yeah, but... It gives you a 95% chance to hit, and then if you miss, it does nothing, as opposed to a graze or something unless you have mods. So it feels like you're being cheated out of it very often. But in XCOM you're making tons of shots and even a single miss has a huge impact. Yeah, exactly. Because like, because tempo is so incredibly important. Uh, especially since the characters don't have that many hit points, at least not till like the end game. To be honest, I also feel kind of cheated in a different way when uh, when everything's in a really bad spot and you should be dead, and then all of the enemies just trip over their own feet and miss everything and maybe even kill each other. Uh, and what should have been half your squad just gets executed results in literally nothing happening to you. Um, and then you just like... Well, okay. I guess I have to take that. Um, so this one only has to go to 500 degrees, but do we have any spare? Maybe I should go build some more. Do we have some in a robo network here? Not at all. Um, this one's kind of spare at the moment. We'll use this to heat up this one twice as fast, I hope. Yeah, twice as fast. I could also add some more beam chambers here. We don't have that much power to spare, though.
All right, that is going to take a little while. I'm really itching to park this one over here so that we can confirm the circuitry is all correct, at least insofar as we can until we can make Arcosphere collectors. Um, oh, and I want to... Uh, I want to build the piping. I could do like a copy paste here to line it up, I guess. So this is one tile below where that chest is for the antimatter stream. It's a little bit awkward actually, but what can you do? goes here. And then if we copy paste that... Oh, that's one tile off actually. How did I... Oh, because this actually lines up with that chest. Whoops. Okay, that should be sufficient, especially with how short the trips are going to be, at least at first. But even without... Uh, I guess we can go to the trouble of putting this on the other side as well, why not? We did it over here after all. In fact, can I just... That's weird. Isn't this as far out as this one? Oh, I see what we did there. Sure. It's kind of more consistent anyway. Alright, so our ship goes here. Uh, why don't we have antimatter stream? Do we have short trains allowed to pick up the antimatter stream? I don't think so. Yes, we do. So, why? Oh, because the provide threshold is 100k regardless. If I set the provide threshold at less than 100k and allow long trains to pick it up, um, we're going to get long trains picking up like 25k antimatter or thermofluid. So I don't want to change that. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I think it's about time for a break. Actually, before I do, let's make sure this is all set up correctly. Looks like it is. Fantastic. We do have a single pump jack that I never connected. Two tiles. Rip. What if I did it over here? No, I don't think so. And... We need the power to connect as well. This one has beacon sickness. That's better. And we're not going to go to the trouble of beacons just for these three, I think. Or four. We need some more pumps, I suppose.
We could even maybe add. Is this connected properly? Yeah, it is. It's just full. This one's only doing a hundred and oh, because this is already really full. That's why. Okay, well, that's going to be more than enough for a while, at least. Although, we can really easily add one here. That, that'll do. I'm going to get carried away. Alright, so back to the mall with you. Uh, I should check the settings though. I'll just copy them from this one actually. Wait, did I name the station? I did not. And since there's a train coming, it's going to mess it up if I change it for the moment. I'll just leave that as it is. Alright, let's throw on the screensaver. Get some words on the stream. Now would be a good time to save, I guess. And autopilot. Just double check this. All right, that should be working. All right, words on stream in 30 seconds, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Take care.
Okay. Uh, where were we? How'd you on to? Oh, rip. Unfortunate. Alright, let's pause that. And back to Factorio. Uh, so... I think I want to ramp up... Hmm, how many ships are waiting at Oblong, I wonder? Because you can't actually see them. Unlike everywhere else, when you point at... When you look at an asteroid field... If a ship is waiting for its turn to park here, you don't actually see it. So, Oblong, number, number four is waiting its turn, and number five is waiting its turn. Okay, we might be getting close to the limit uh, of what we can get out of just this mine. which is pretty good, but I would like to get another one. The thing is, we're either going to have to run... I probably should just do it this way. Uh, we're either going to have to run power all the way over to some other mine or two, or we're going to have to bring all of the ore way back over here. I don't think that's the way to go. Um, on the other hand, well, no, I'm going to have to add more point defenses regardless. Unless I want to go the route of doing media defense installations instead. That feels a little overkill. Um, alternatively, I could do yet uh, just another outpost entirely with its own power plant. Since it's so far away. Also, looking at these other mines compared to the huge one that we've got by Naquitite standards, I'm a little disappointed by the size of this. I guess I could just put more uh, speed modules in over here. That might be a way to go. Also, this thing is not beaconed. Oh, I see. And it's using significantly more power to get significantly less... Uh, ...Naquitite. But it's not like it would be worth throwing down another... 10 megawatt beacon. Yeah, there's decent sized mines for Naquitite all over the place here. It's just... Like, in terms of volume. But this one is above and beyond all the others. Um, I think we had a quick look at Stardust earlier. I could be wrong. We got 1.1 million right next to the origin point. That's a pretty good sign. But if we can, I would like to... That is so small. Uh, why don't we scan Stardust for a bit? I really just want to find the biggest patch of Naquitite that I can. So that we can get another 10 per second or something. Um, from just one more outpost. We've also got Black Mirror that we're not sending quite as many ships to. And these mines don't even run while there isn't a ship parked here. But if we make sure there's always a ship waiting to land here, that uh, 
effectively doesn't even matter. Oh, the... I thought the temperature was dropping here for a second there. No, it's fine. We don't have very big Nequitite mines over here. We have to go a lot further to get them. But I can definitely spam a few more deep space miners. Wait, why are you turning... Wait, what? Why are you trying to take off? What is this? Or is it trying to... There shouldn't be anything here to give it a takeoff signal. If Naquitite greater than 13k, that is definitely not true. Why is this constantly running... An integrity check. A robust. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's the mining time percentage on Naquium? It's like double. Uh, let's see. No, it's a thousand. It, it, it's ten times slower than normal. Um, but it also has a stack size, which is one-fifth of iron or copper and so on. But, yeah. It is a pain, honestly. Um, I guess we could try for faster speed modules. What have we got? Speed module 9 actually only requires Deep Space 1. Uh, it is incredibly expensive. But then, if we're only using them for, like, Naquium mining, at least at first, it's probably worth it. I thought Iridium at 600% was crazy. Nope, just getting started. Yeah, I don't want to get too carried away spamming ships like I've done before. Every little thing we make costs a little UPS. Um, I still don't know why... Why this thing keeps pulsing its integrity check, though. This thing still isn't warm enough to move. Uh, it does need to be a little bit above 5,000 degrees, even before I move it just over here. It's very important. Also, this should be requesting... Arcospheres? And... We need some... This is already sticking out, so I guess I'm not going to worry too much about that. What are the bots doing? Fair enough. Yeah, even to move the ship just over here. Uh... Unless I put an accumulator on it or something, I could do that. Why don't we just shove a single accumulator onto this thing? And then we can move it down to where it's going to be parked for quite a long time. It's only going to take a second. Uh, minimum power is 33... Kilowatts, 66, plus all the laser turrets. I'm sure at 5 megawatts we'll have enough power to get a move on. We've already set the clamp IDs and stuff. 
that's already switched on. So the moment I launch this, it should probably... With its destination set to Nalvis Orbit, it'll probably park itself right here immediately. Or not. Maybe I have to... Tell it to engage. Anchor to Nalvis Orbit. 638, 638, 638 to 637, 637, 638, 638 on the left, that should be this one here, that is 638, so why... Do we have a destination signal? We don't. That's probably why. Uh, I can't just type in Nervous Orbit. Planet 316, if I recall correctly. Oh, wait. We're not going to Nervous. Derp. Uh, Planet Orbit 317. I'm surprised it didn't... Oh, there we go. There it goes. So it has to have received the destination as a signal, as opposed to a manual input, so that it holds onto it here. There's our antimatter. And very, very quickly, there's our... Space probe rockets and media... I think we already had the media point defenses. But we definitely didn't have... Space... Oh, we did have space probe rockets up here. Derp. Then what were the bots doing? Alright, so we have two ships here. Let's check this. Uh, we're outputting negative 80 space probe rocket. And... Space probe rocket signal on this is zero. Should be the same over here. Wait a sec. Yeah, 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 because that negative 40 for the space probe rocket was moved from the constant combinator to this dynamic thing. Okay, um, I don't suppose we can get ahead of things. As far as building the Arcospheres goes. Well, not the Arcospheres, the Collectors. Are you winning, son? Indeed. Twisted Particle. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess I would have to use FNEI to find out what it needs. Baku Sphere Collector. Oh, that's uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Two lasers. Ten antimatter canisters. Ten naquium cubes. Two dynamic emitters, ten quantum processors, fifty aeroframe bulkheads. I'm gonna do it much like these ones. Um, I might just put that here actually. Except, switch this off immediately. Uh, I can't actually set the recipe here yet, because we don't have the technology. But... I wish I could keep both of those up at once, that would be nice. 
especially with the delay clicking on this. All right, so aeroframe bulkhead. I kind of want to compare it to this other one as well. These have some things in common. This one was really different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Aeroframe bulkhead, quantum processor, dynamic emitter. Wait, how many different things do we need? It's like six, right? The same as the others? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll put dynamic emitters and lasers in the same chest, since we need so little of them. Emitter. Laser turret. And then Aeroframe Bulkhead, Quantum Processor can go here. <laughs> Aeroframe Bulkhead is the highest volume thing. So maybe just in that chest. And then we have three things that require ten. Well, hold on. We've got We've got one chest available for each after this one, actually. Okay, so... Bulkhead processor... Um, processor... Of the quantum variety. Nequium cube. Oh, this is actually five and an output. Whoops. Do the antimatter canisters burn slower than uranium fuel cells? I don't know. I haven't tried them yet. We don't actually have antimatter reactors unlocked. Um, so we've got two small things. Aeroframe bulkhead, quantum processor... I guess we could put, put Naquium Cube and Antimatter Canisters here. With a filter inserter, since they're both just 10. That should be fine. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What was I thinking there? I can do one stack filter inserter for the rest of these. Okay, cube and canister. What stage of deep space research are you on? Uh, just the first here. Aquium cube, antimatter canister, and this is going to be... What's the word I'm looking for? Collector. Uh, this thing is only going to put something into the train if the logistic train stop output is telling us that it's asking for Arcosphere collectors so that we don't shove those into the train that's delivering stuff. And let me just double check. There's no, like, side products or anything with this. Oh, there is. There's magnetic canisters. Okay, that's only a little bit of a nuisance. Um, I'll just filter out the final product into the rail network. And... Is it okay if we just put the canisters back into the mall? I mean, they will... What's going on here? They're looking for solid rocket fuel that we don't have. Is this thing 
should be requesting solid rocket fuel. Where are our... Where are we getting solid rocket fuel from these days? Here it is. We've... Oh, we've just run out of it. But do we still have a cargo rocket delivering it? Is the real question. Um, uh, possibly not. Yeah, I think I may have ceased the solid rocket fuel. Oh, here it is. No? Wait, what's going on here? We've got solid rocket fuel here. Oh, it's actually lacking a... It's actually lacking cargo rocket sections. Well, we could fix this, or... We could get... Solid rocket fuel... Delivered by shuttle. Um, where's my spaceship builder from? There it is. It's a bit of a stopgap even so, because I kind of... Okay, this is a long project at this stage though. I kind of would like to replace all of these shuttles with ones that use antimatter engines. Um, since it's going to use a lot less liquid rocket fuel. But on the other hand, if we're not actually having trouble keeping up with liquid rocket fuel, maybe we should just keep things as they are with the shuttles. At least for now. I'm sure it's cutting into the petroleum that we're a bit short on. But this is definitely much easier for the moment. So we're going to add... This one's coal on the left. This one's going to be... Nope, I'm not falling for that again. Get out of here, trees. Well, that's just one big tree. Uh, because for some reason, when we place uh, spaceship blueprints, uh, trees block putting down the spaceship tiles. They don't get much with deconstruction. Okay, why is this one so empty? There's plenty over here, at least. Um, so that is filling up. Fantastic. These are not supposed to be connected with the copper wire. Um, what number is this going to be? We got coal here, which is 131. So solid rocket fuel can be 132. Oh. That was the detail that I forgot. It was a little bit of a nuisance. Um... I'll need to set up some... This is kind of full at the moment, so that's a problem. Do we have construction bots here? We only have nine. Okay, I think I know just what to do. We're going to mark all of these to stay completely empty. Uh, and then... Once that's happened, we can put in some circuit stuff to precisely load our trains. Okay. Back to Nalvis. Um, this is fine. 
This is solid rocket fuel. And this goes here. We're looking for four train loads of solid rocket fuel to be delivered. Uh, that is 6,400. Actually, yeah, no, because it's reading from the storage chests, not from the ship. Okay, we need to whitelist solid rocket fuel in this block. So it doesn't get taken to the trash. Uh, we need number 132 on all of these clamps. And solid rocket fuel shuttle. Since the stack size is quite small, we'll probably need a couple. Why is that? Oh, I see. That was meant to be as a placeholder, but there's actually fish here. Somehow. Solid rocket fuel. 480. I guess I get rid of the fish whitelist. Maybe I should have set a different filter here to show that we don't want to put anything in these chests for now. Okay, solid rocket fuel hasn't been delivered yet. It's a bit weird. And we're looking for uh, 16 chests full of solid rocket fuel. 7,680. I'm just going to round it down to 7,600. The bots will most likely fill this up entirely before the ship takes off. But we want to leave a bit of room. I could make it a bit more. Uh, make it 700, 640. Sometimes they don't completely fill a chest, so the ship would never take off. If we don't leave a bit of a gap there. Now, why... Why are we not getting solid rocket fuel delivered here? It's a little bit concerning. Is this set at a high priority? It's not. We're going to switch that off. Uh, in fact, I'm going to turn this into a provider station. So that we can get all this stuff recycled. Uh, this goes here. Provide step threshold 160, sure. It'll be a little bit easier if I send the construction spiders over. I can just mark these as the bots will swap them around. Pretty much the same thing applies to the belts. Um, uh oh. Let's go here. 
That should be fine. There's basically no solid rocket fuel in here anyway. Not going to worry about that. Whoops. Okay. This goes here, actually. I don't think we're going to need more than one. Can't see for the spider legs. should eventually sort itself out. Are you going to our new stop? Fantastic. That's what I want to see. Oh, how close are we to getting Naquitite without giving it a nudge? Oh, we've actually got Plate in orbit right now. Fantastic. It looks like we already picked it all up, though. Uh, we actually do have plate. We need catalog. And what is catalog missing? Nothing but Naquium energy data. Which is looking for ion canisters, of all things. Yeah, we've, we're actually not bottlenecked on Naquium. Just for the moment. Or deep space science. Oh, I think I remember now. I forgot to turn this back on. Because we had such a lack of ion stream temporarily, because this thing is extremely thirsty. Okay. That should be fine. And we might see... I don't know, we don't have that many Naquim ingots, actually. Yeah, I think we need a delivery of ingots before we get more science automatically. We're most of the way there, though. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I see. Um, since this place... Wait, 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 no, uh, I should have, you're not actually requesting inserters, are you? I should have just set them to blacklist nothing. Can I get the bots to place those? There should be a couple of construction bots here before those get taken away. Fantastic. Good thinking, have the, having this one a storage chest. Alright, so there's our liquid rocket fuel. Uh, it is going to take like five or so train loads. Let's see. 48 times 16. Divided by 160. 4.8 train loads to fill one of these little shuttles. It's not that much, really. I could definitely cram them with more storage containers, but until we switch over to antimatter for these little shuttles, um, that's going to be a bit of a problem, since we need so much liquid rocket fuel to take off. Alright, where are we right now? 19 minutes out from Nalvis. Oh. There's us. Just cruising along. We should be getting a flood of Naquitite back. 
more or less, unless we got it already. We've got Deep Space Miner 2 inbound. I don't think there's any chance that we've saturated to the point when we need to build more of this stuff. We need... yeah, no, there isn't. Um, we would need more than double our biggest Naquitite mine for that. Uh, this thing is more than warm enough. We don't have any booster tanks left, though. Uh, we might have a couple lying around. Nope. I think it would have got delivered here, even if it was just one or two. Do I carry booster tanks? I don't think so. Alright, so we're waiting on a whole lot more Naquium. We're waiting on more Naquium to build more ships to get more Naquium. But we do have some inbound right about now. Deep Space Miner 2 is actually one minute. Uh, more like 90 seconds out. And I wonder how much we've actually got most of a trainload of Maquium ingots here. Eight hundred and sixty-eight. Uh, we definitely need a couple more trainloads to make this happen. Okay. So what's next then? Uh, I didn't finish... I didn't decide what I was going to do with the empty canisters. I guess I could... No, I, I know just what to do actually. Instead of enable disable Arcosphere Collector greater than zero, uh, we can just... Provide stack threshold 10. Yeah, so... Hmm... It's fine for the final product for these that are pretty low throughput. But... How many canisters does it take? Only 10. So it's actually one-fifth as many stacks of magnetic canisters compared to Arcosphere collectors. But we need... If we're going to put it into the rail system, we need magnetic canisters taken away as a priority. We're going to have to start dealing with them just like we do junk data cards and that sort of thing. Alternatively, especially just this once, since it's literally right at the mall, um, I could just... put that into an active provider chest. And once there's a sufficient threshold of canisters, uh, in the mall. It'll be available to the rail network anyway. Where are you going with all of this? Heat shielding, flat solar, and solid rocket fuel is going to make uh, star probes, actually. Okay. Speaking of solid rocket fuel... Uh, we're still pretty short. That is pretty weird, actually. Uh, we've got a train load of it right here. A repetitive beats. 
good to see you again. Well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're making solid rocket fuel from Vulcanite as well as a backup plan. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. Um. It's got normal priority. Is this switched on? Yeah, it is. Do we not have... Vulcanite blocks? 9.4k... 20k... 24k... 20k... I don't think our furnaces are in trouble. They have a higher priority. Uh, how much was this one? 20k, I think I may have checked it already, 25. Okay, so we've got tons of vulcanite blocks as far as our furnaces are concerned, but there's nothing in storage for vulcanite. Uh, it is in motion. Hmm... I guess we could go tap another planet for Vulcanite. We've got a few in the solar system, but... Uh, this one's really small. There's not that much point. We are sending Vulcanite back by cannon as well, directly. Hmm. Uh... Let's see. Mariel, Gogira, and Palto. But they're all pretty small. Gogira's not moving because of power. I could add some energy beaming to keep all of these drills going. Uh, it's not a waterless planet, right? Oh, it might be. It is, it's waterless. Uh, then we have to set up logistics to bring ice. That's a bit of a nuisance. Palto is in the same... Uh, same ballpark. Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've also got Vulcanite coming from Lothar. No, that's... um. Why did I think... Oh, because there's Vulcanite there. That's Uranium. I think for all of the trouble that it would be to increase the throughput of Vulcanite from Palto, Gorgira, or Mariel at this point, we'd probably be better off tapping another planet for Vulcanite. 98. Oh, we've already got Palto. Uh, I have a few of these marked as, like, good candidates. Let's check their distance from Nalvis. Uh, so this one we've already got. This one's kind of far, but it's huge. And there's no biters on it. So with like an antimatter ship or three, we could really clean up. But we're kind of waiting on more Nacrotype for antimatter. Uh... 40k from Nalvis is really close. Waterless. TNO. It's really small, though. That does make it easy to take off from, but I think at this stage of the game, that's not worth bothering. Um, I've got another one marked 20 here. This one has Bite Meteors. Kind of far. Good radius. I should definitely bump that one up as a candidate. Uh, this one's really kind of close. It's in Penthus. 5,000 radius. We do have to clear out biters. Oh hey, there's our research. Nice. Agamor, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Worth some surface mining? Yeah. I just don't like setting up temporary mines. 
especially at this scale, like the number of times we've had to replace copper and iron mines and so on, uh, I would rather just keep adding to the infinite throughput. Well, not infinite throughput. Um, the throughput of infinite resources. What is going on up here? Okay, that is... Rather unfortunate that that still happens like one time out of a thousand. Don't know where it got four iron from. Um, where were we looking? Vulcanite. Prism is kind of far away and really big. Uh, that's too small. Uh, Tiano, though? Tiano looking kind of fine, to be honest. It's in Panther, so I don't think we've got, um, energy beaming there yet. Yeah, Panthers is where we found Heliolite and Eleusis. Uh, and this is Tiano. All right, so let's grab one of the outposter ships. Uh, either one, really. Make sure you've got plenty of beaming stuff. Sniper one, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Infinite throughput would be interesting once. Yeah. So that Omni Mall... So that your Omni Mall. So that my Omni Mall. Uh, I've got an Omni Mall in. It's it, kind of an Omni Mall. We, we only have one type of fluid input for these things. Um, but anything that we can make with these machines, uh, just about, we do with automatic recipe changing, yes. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we want to go to Penthus. And I wanted to double check that we've got plenty of scaffolding, solar, uh, we've got energy beaming stuff. This one I was going to remove the uh, storage chest. Yeah, let's go to Penthus. Doesn't have any construction bots. Uh, that's unusual. I might just have to. Well, no, why don't I just do this? All right, we've got what we need to get things started. We're heading for Penthus. Penthus orbit. And I'll just double check. That is where we need to be going. Oh, cool. 5,201 radius is kind of around about the upper limit of... It's going to take a while to energy beam, uh, to glaive the biters away. Unless we can... Nah, I'll definitely beam them. Beam them up. 13 minutes till we're back at Nalva's. Fuel is totally fine. As expected. Uh, bio upgrade intelligence five. Is that still moving or did we run out? I think we ran out. Yeah, we did. We've still got the plate. Wait, how did we get such a small amount of 
catalog. Oh, this costs 1600. Oh, this is 2000 though. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want the lab productivity. Make everything just that little bit cheaper research wise. Um Oh, we've still got ingots here. We're about to run out. And I think we need 8,000 of these. Provide stack threshold 1. Okay, that's why. I forgot I changed this earlier. So we only need one stack of... Um, Naquim energy data before it comes over here. And then I probably did the same thing down here. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. So once we get 50 deep space catalog, we're going to make um, another 100 sides. Considering the trickle of Naquitite that we've got for now, I don't mind leaving it like that. Alright, so what should we do while we wait for that? Um, um, indeed. I could get even more oil. I don't really feel like it right now. It'll take a while before these ones slow down at all anyway. Did we get our rocket fuel? Not really. How do you do tags on the map again? Uh, you go to the map and then just under the mini map there's add tag. You can only do it from the map. I was looking through controls and settings and couldn't find anything. Yeah, I don't think there is a key bind. Uh, but this only appears when you go to the map. So it's not like here, for example. Could I maybe prioritize liquid rocket? I mean, solid rocket fuel? Oh, wow. Um, we are actually churning it out as fast as we can. Yeah, it's not like it's... Okay, it's a little bit stuck. on light oil, it would seem. Hey, Revan. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where are you going with that? Oh, good. That's where we need you. Uh... I think it's... Hmm. If 24 chests is 6 point something stacks, this is 16 chests, and we need uh, 18 more stacks. Yeah, we probably need two more train loads before this launches. So we've pretty much got Arku's Sphere Collectors uh, set up already. We can just set the recipe once that is... Oh, I haven't set these yet. Derp. Request stack threshold 3. That's not going to cut it when we need such a small amount of... Well, we can just request like 4 stacks of any of these. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so... Laser, and what was the other thing called? Emitter. Dynamic emitter. Stack size 50. 200 of those. Uh, 
Uh, this thing is also stack size 50. Wait, that's not nanomaterial. That's um, bulkhead. Aeroframe bulkhead. And then we need quantum processors. Also 50. So 200. This stacks to 8. So 32, I guess. How many actually goes into an Arcosphere Collector, though? Ten. I think I would like the train to bring more than... More than enough to just make three Arcosphere Collectors on a given trip. Uh, this is enough to make four. This is enough to make lots. This is enough to make, uh, 20. Maybe I should just aim for, like... A full chest, almost, for bulkhead and Naquin cube. So, one train load. Uh, 2,000. Quantum processors, we don't need nearly as many. One-fifth. Why am I blanking on 2,000 divided by 5? 400. Uh, these two are abundant. Aquim cube. 40 times 8. 320. And then, last but not least, is antimatter canister. Of which we only need 10, actually. Uh, let's set that to the same as Aquim cube. Okay. And I guess that doesn't need to be a filter inserter after all. And we're going to set this to collector. Provide stack threshold 10. Sure, why not? What is this train doing? Oh, it's waiting its turn. From this one that has been waiting 600 years for just like 10 more, literally 9 more solid rocket fuel. Oh, I haven't put a tag here, speaking of which. One more train load, I think before that launches automatically. Now, we do need... This still hasn't been emptied. Uh, we have nine construction bots, so I think I'll have the spiders do this. In fact, I think I'll change things up here a little bit. What are the... Oh, okay. That's fine. That's good, actually. Alright, if we just have... Nah, I'll, I'll keep the throughput high. I'll have 24 chests for each resource. Uh, 1.5 train loads. 
That doesn't make any sense. Uh, 384. What's the common denominator for 24 and 160? 6.67... Uh, 6.666 stacks. So, if we multiply that by 3... Uh, we get a round number. So 20 stacks per chest gives us 3. Yeah, I knew that. Because this was already 10. 20 stacks per chest gives us exactly 3 train loads. And it should be fairly balanced. Uh, don't set requests. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Um, request from buffer chests. Solid rocket fuel. Fill it up. Just kidding. Two, uh, 20 stacks. Connect that over there. And then we need a precise loader. So first thing we do is connect all of these. Set filters, uh, whitelist, set stack size S. Actually, we can save a combinator here. Because this is always going to be solid rocket fuel. And this is always going to be coal. is what I was saying until I realized I should probably just have both in each. I should probably have both resources in all uh, 48 chests so that we can go nice and fast loading it. So I was going to say solid rocket fuel can be the set stack size control on this side, and coal on this side. But no, I think we will do the S for stack size. Train, you are making it difficult to concentrate. Thank you. Uh, set filters, whitelist, set stack size S. And that's going to be true of all of these. And then for just one insert a per cargo wagon, except on each side, we'll connect green wire. Alright. So... Get the signals from the LTN train stop, excluding these ones, with each greater than zero output each. Uh, subtract what's already in the train, and then do some math. We're going to divide by uh, 48 chests. each over 48, output each, and output S for stack size from the same sum as well. Uh, read train contents times negative 1 meets up with the amount that the train is asking for, so this green wire is the remainder, what needs to be put in the train. And once we get below 48, uh, we're just going to set stack size to 1. By set, I mean we're just not going to give it an S signal, because the default 
in that case is one. And we're just going to give it the filter for what uh, that goes to the green wire. And these ones go to everyone. Also, these need to be connected to each other. And then, last but not least, um, how much have we got here? One thousand. Uh, 1,000 coal and 200 solid rocket fuel. For 20 stacks. In each of these chests. then provide stack threshold uh i don't suppose it has to be 480 it kind of does oh i should have put it down to 500 and 100 whoops So it should be the case if we have uh, three train loads of stuff that it's all sufficiently full and balanced. That it's not going to cause any problems. It could also request slightly more in the chests with the green inserters. But I don't think that's really necessary. Also, the screen wire goes here. And I think we're ready. Alright, let's summon a train and... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, a short train's going to cause a problem. Absolutely. Long trains only for this one. Okay. Also, do we really not have homes for these bots? What are they doing? Also, how did that get... Uh-oh. Oh no. I think I need to reconfigure. You're joking. No. Did that... Did that spaceship just kidnap or kill one of my spiders, at least? Are we missing... Uh, are we missing the Spidertron remote that controls the leader of... The spiders because you cheeky okay that's just rude um I don't see the leader still also it's probably not gonna have enough uh it's probably not gonna have enough launch energy to take these spiders back Because, because they are big containers themselves. Uh, let's go back to orbit, and I'm going to disable the go back to Nalvis button. But I think... I, I think... Uh, 
it may have actually killed some of them. Because if... I don't know. My thought was if the floor disappeared underneath their feet, they would just get destroyed. But looking at where this one is, it really doesn't seem like that would be the case. Maybe if the leader was, like, standing right here with its leg dangling over, like, on just barely onto the ship or something. We may have lost... Uh, should I load the game? How far back would that be? Also, why is this train not getting loaded right now? Because I never connected this part. We Carbon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's just confirm this works at least. Yep, looking pretty good. Stats show spider deaths. I don't know if it counts if they disappear because land was removed underneath their feet, but we can try. Nothing spidery in the last 50 hours, actually. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened to... Unless it's like underneath this one. Doesn't look like it. I think it killed the leader. And not much else. That's the wrong one. Don't, don't, don't you get in trouble as well. Uh, was it these two? I don't think we're going to be able to launch the ship. It's also still filling up with the liquid rocket fuel. Since no deaths, I'd bet it's in a shadow dimension. <laughs> Maybe. 530 gigajoules. Um, I'm pretty sure we can't take off. This is 363 gigajoules. No, 329 gigajoules for this to take off. No, we have 329 gigajoules. We need 363. I think this has to be almost full for our shuttles to take off. So these ones aren't going to be able to bring these spiders back. Uh, didn't it happen before that it got dropped under a solar panel? Um, if it was on the ground? I don't think the spiders... Well, they would have been taken away by the bots, oddly enough. I think we have a request to chest with all of our spiders here. It would have come back via the trash. And... Oh, this is only requesting 10. Uh, we've got six outside of the request to chest. But that's because we've we've got this here to tell us to, uh, tell the system to make them. If we get some blue spiders delivered here, then that's what happened to them. It doesn't look like it. There's a red one though. Huh. Place them all and see if any are blue. Uh, it shows you the color here. Uh, I'm just going to temporarily remove that. Undo. And then we can switch this back on without making excess spiders. Uh, well, that 
that also means that I need to get every single one of these to move, to, to follow a leader again. How did I get that color? Was it... This is it. And the ordering of this is all over the place. This works. Nope. I don't know what I just... I don't know which spider I just swapped around with the remote. The remotes aren't going to be where I'm used to anymore either. The, the ordering of these is super arbitrary. Uh... This is slightly upsetting, not going to lie. I think we may have lost a significant number of spiders just because they were standing near the spaceship. Okay. I guess you can say they spidered their way onto another spaceship. Rip spider, indeed. You have 16 mil, 16 in the mall makes some more, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I guess we switch that back on. Um, I don't think we need the spiders here still. Our solid rocket fuel is actually just about to launch. Actually, why hasn't it launched? Oh, don't tell me. I left this on raw fish. Okay, I'm glad I was keeping a, keeping an eye on this. Are we not? 1.4k. Most of these aren't connected properly. There we go. It was because I just deleted this chest earlier. Need a spider fence around the spaceports? But the spiders don't respect fences. There's literally... The only thing they won't walk over is water or... Like, just a gap in the scaffolding. Okay. Um... I guess it's a sort of also an opportunity to redesign the spiders a bit so they don't keep getting overfilled, even though they shouldn't. Liquid rocket fuel train, I mean shuttle, should be arriving. Oh, there it is. And there goes our liquid rocket fuel. Approximately evenly, but we don't trust that, which is why we wait until there's 480 stacks before we say that you can summon a train or two. Well, if you make enough spiders, eventually some are going to come back. If you build it, they will come. Giant robot spiders, that is. How close are we to getting back? I do physically... Oh, two minutes. Wow. I do physically have to go back there to make the spiders. We don't have a mod to take care of that remotely. We've got a whole chain of oblong ships coming back. 
And we're not mining. I mean, we don't have a ship here right now to pick up the Nacrotite. So we do, we do still need more ships to speed this up. Since Spider can carry cargoes, you can use this to cheat ship stats? No. Uh, otherwise, I would have put the spiders onto this ship here to take them back upstairs. Uh, but I'll show you right now, actually. So if we look at our Naquium Ingot ship, we do a status uh, integrity check. Uh, container stress is 434. And 129 for the other one. I don't think that's going to change. Put the spider in. And... Both hull stress and container stress go up significantly. Uh, I don't think... I serious... Uh, you could use the spider as defenses as well. But I don't think the amount of grid space that you're going to get and how much consistent laser damage you're going to get. You could... Uh, it, it would also shoot at the asteroids with rockets, so there's that. Um, I guess you could incorporate a Spidertron or two into the design of a spaceship as defenses. It might be worth the stress. If you use rockets as well, maybe. But yeah, they're definitely not free, and they're not just some egregious cheat that you can use. Okay, uh, we are one minute or so out from Nalvis. Uh, Penthus, where is our outposter? It's I almost forget how slow most of our ships are now compared to the antimatter. Alright, but I think now's a, as good a time as any for a little break. If there's edge case like spider moving on a just launching ship, yeah, I don't know what happens. I, I, I mean, we know that if we have spidertrons, uh, with legs, where if bots remove these, um, uh, this scaffolding while the spider's legs are there, which it would appear if they're not in motion, this isn't something that's going to happen. Because you can see all those tiles where they're not going to pick stuff up. But, yeah, if you mark this stuff for deletion and move the spiders over it at the wrong time, the spiders just get deleted. If, if their feet are on um, a tile and it gets removed at that moment, they're just gone. And I don't think it counts it in the kills stats. We finally got our lab productivity bonus. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, I think now would probably be a good time for a little break. Um, while I dry my teary eyes, I mean, go to the bathroom and stuff. Let's do a little words on stream. And that'll be starting in about 30 seconds. Back soon.
Okay, level 8, nice. Let's continue with the exploration of the space. And where were we? Oh, we're back. Fantastic. I guess we need to get to... Why do I have two remotes here? Never mind that. Why do I have three remotes? And what? 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 Do, what? What? No! No! None of that, please. Forgot to turn off the screensaver. Yeah. Uh, I think I haven't revisited my arrangement of Spidertron remotes in my inventory in a very long time because I haven't been using any of these really for quite a while. It was back when I would go on planet and then I would have them on my hotbar, um, but that is not the way we do things right now. Okay. Deep Space Science Pack 2 still hasn't budged at all. I don't think we've launched our Naquium ingots yet. Nope. I need to go down there just to pick up those spiders eventually, or just turn them into local construction spiders. Okay, so... Uh, we should be picking... Yikes, careful. Make sure we don't deconstruct any of the floor underneath our spiders. Power does make its way up. Oh. Uh-oh. Um, should probably make sure things stay connected. At least for a while. Are they going to build that? It's probably going to be in the trash slots. I think I could... Uh, do something like this. Oh, there it goes. Fantastic. Alright, back over this way, please. And I guess I'll just get them to pick up all that belt. Now... Since we are reaching a point where, what, what, since we're getting to a point where the spiders really have to carry a lot of stuff, I think we should have a couple of specialized kind of units uh, in the orbital construction spider gang. We already had these guys doing scaffolding, but I'm thinking in the main group we can have two kinds of spiders. One is going to carry all things uh, production, so cycling facilities, mechanical. Do we even use pulverizers in space? I don't think so. Oh yeah, we do, don't we? Somewhere? Uh, easiest way to check is actually to put one down. We can't even place it. Okay, never mind. Um, so... I'm not going to have them carry drills or any of this nuclear shenanigans. We seldom need boilers anyway. I don't know if we need any up here at all. Actually, very unlikely we need to get rid of water in space. Okay, so we go for... A stack is five. The trouble is the bots can oversupply things. Um, as much as three. 
So we actually have to reduce our requests for anything that has a stack size greater than 1 by 3. Which means reducing this by 60%. Uh, on the other hand, if I just set the limit to 5 and make sure we've definitely got some room in the inventory so stuff can get to the trash slots, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we don't need a pulverizer because it cannot be built in space. Space assembly machine, I pretty much never use them, but since we're already splitting... Um, since we're already splitting the stuff our spiders carry, it's probably fine. Life support facility. Uh, let's say 10. Biochemical. Decontamination. Genetics, growth, fuel refinery. Oh uh, yeah, we do occasionally need those. Possibly, still. Centrifuge can't be built in space. Radiation facility. Electromag. Laser. Material set. Thank you for the follow, Samaril. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And particle accelerator, particle collider. Uh, I guess this is going to exacerbate the fact that when we put down a few particle colliders and then mark them for deconstruction because we want to move them or something. It's going to end up in spider trash slots, but that's not that big of a deal. Hypercoolers, thermal, tier 2 thermal radiators. Um, and then astrometric facility. I guess it really doesn't matter if I do the maximum stack size, the, the full stack size with these. As long as we have plenty of room in the trunk, like 10 stacks or more, so that the bots, so that we don't get too much weirdness with split stacks and uh, the trunk grid is full and the bots can't put things in the trash slots and so on. It would be better if they could just put stuff directly into the trash slots. Um, we don't need to carry a nexus. Hmm, supercomputers. Do I want to bother carrying the older, cheaper ones still? Probably the quantum supercomputers. And then also the neural ones. at least for the moment. I don't think we're going to need to place any more telescopes. I could be wrong. Gamma ray. Microwave. Radio. X-ray. And wide area beacon 2. The modules to go with it. Uh, I think we only bother with tier 6 in space at this point, and we don't need any prod modules. We're only putting down prods when we're adding more research labs in orbit. Uh, we don't really need them to carry beam emitters all the time, or receivers. Or labs, that's going to be a very occasional thing. That might just about be it, actually.
We do, of course, need them to have some bots. Uh, how full is your trunk? Not even half. I could probably get them to carry more of the stack size 1 things. Like 5 of each. This would be 20 stacks instead of 4. 25 instead of 5. Hey, Sifa Cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. How's your stream today? Welcome, raiders. Jamort. Regnor. Uh, Regnor. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We were just redesigning our Spidertron loadouts after tragically losing some because they stood too close to a spaceship. Um, but we're at the point where the spiders have to carry so much stuff, uh, especially in orbit, that we're splitting it between two different designs. How goes the race for 1 FPS today? Uh, it's going backwards, unfortunately. Yeah, we're all the way up to 22. I don't know, I guess clearing out this old stuff is uh, having a negative effect on that, but what can you do? Speaking of which, let's see if... I don't think they're going to be able to pick up all of this in one pass. But we'll get them to do as much as possible unsupervised. That's the starter base, right? Uh, sort of. The starter orbital base was up here. And then we built kind of a bigger version of that here, which had... I think it was just tier one of... I don't think we even did energy science here. We did tier one of astro first, and then tier one mechanical. And then we were just barely able to squeeze in tier one bio over here, which was a complete mess. Uh, then we decided, let's build a main bus base, and just arbitrarily we're going to build... Uh, this is the only machine that can make the science packs, so I'm going to build one space manufactory, and then all we had was tier 3 modules and no space beacons. So I'm going to build one of these, and I'm, I'm going to build all of the machines that it takes to support that at full throughput. Um, that turned out to be quite a lot more than bargained for. But I kind of followed through on it anyway. So we had this uh, rather large main bus base. But we've very much outgrown it, and it's been just sitting here for a long time. I should have deconstructed it ages ago. Uh, between cleaning up old stuff and, like, redoing builds that we had low attack for, like this one has 200 machines. And then this same thing with 72 machines is faster, I believe. Thanks to the wide area beacons and better modules. 136 per second versus... Versus what? 118 per second. Yeah, so it's uh, it's less than half the machines for more than uh, equivalent speed. Is that one big sushi belt? Uh, yes, it was. Yes. Because coming in blind to space exploration and... I wasn't going to use bots because I didn't know... It, it would be a pain to resupply them that early on in particular. But also I didn't just want to kill them. Um, but I didn't know that if you only have 50 logistic bots in a network, they actually don't crash. So... With bots not being an option, and we've got all of these very complicated, unfamiliar recipes, 
and we just want to get them working. Uh, a sushi belt, if you know what you're doing, actually makes a lot of sense. But yeah, uh, space exploration is huge and full of terrors, and you run out of space to do things with that kind of build pretty quickly, even with fairly humble goals. So we eventually moved on to more organized things. I see you've posted more selfies, indeed. The, uh... Uh... The so-called selfies of the... Mysterious structure variety. Where is this platformed? Around Nalvis. Yes. That's correct. Uh, although in a future playthrough... Uh, not going in blind. I think what I would probably do is pick one of the moons uh, to be the main base once we've got the technology. Because it... Uh, unless space elevators are added to the game and then that this question becomes irrelevant. Uh, they, they've been coming soon TM for about six years. Uh, it feels like. But... The stand-in for space elevators that we've got is just some small spaceships that use up almost 200k liquid rocket fuel to launch 16 chests uh, up to orbit. But excluding space elevators, I would probably... I would probably build my main base and the orbital base on and around a smaller planet. Just so that it takes a lot less fuel to take off. Maybe a uh, crude oil based planet. Because there's just ludicrous amounts of crude oil to be had. So it's going to be trivial to keep up with oil and liquid rocket fuel. What's the largest spaceship at the moment? Uh, that's kind of a good question. I haven't been going out of my way to make large spaceships, but we've got this one, for example. Uh, which is... The container stress is getting pretty close to the maximum that we can do with our current research, that being a thousand. Uh, we've got some long ones over here, using the high temperature turbine generators. Even though when we designed this, we didn't have an Aquium pipe, if you connect it directly to a beam receiver, you can take advantage of it early. I'm moving my Nalvis base to a small moon. It's between asteroid belts. Nalvis is, or the small moon is? Good to know, thank you, no worries. Still need to give the space truck a tickets for accelerating so fast. The old space trucks don't accelerate very fast, though. Well, this is the old space truck design. Um, top speed is 90. That's actually not that bad. Although they are bottlenecked on power. Um, I should have made this long. Actually, all stress is... It's just barely under 500. I can see why I built it like this. Um, but maybe I would, even trying to keep it within 500, build it with more condenser turbines or just one ion engine so that it doesn't get bottle uh, bottlenecked on power for the lasers and the engine uh, once it gets into deep space. I've been putting some blueprints together for a smooth playthrough of... a much smoother playthrough of um, space exploration in future, going in without any of the blindness of a first playthrough. Um, okay, so I think we put everything that we wanted from production in here. Oh, that's right. I was going to crank up the requests for the stack size 1 things. And... 
think that's all of them. I guess we may as well ask for... Oh wait, we don't have any deep supercomputers yet. That's fine. So your inventory is mostly full. You've still got 26 slots. Uh, don't forget the robots and stuff, though. Um, we're gonna go for... Personal Roboport Mark II is still the best we can get, like, ever, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, RTG Mark II... I think we can make uh, fusion reactors, or we're about to unlock them. Yeah, no. Uh, fusion reactor. We haven't unlocked it yet. We need only 200 Deep Space Science Pack 1. I could have done it already. But for all the trouble of making it, at this stage, 750 kilowatts as opposed to... 500? It hardly seems worth the trouble. Um, I don't think I gave my construction spiders any legs. Oh, just one leg in the middle. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Because we want the maximum reach, well, not the maximum, but quite a lot of reach from the roboports here. And if I give them even two pairs of exoskeleton legs, that barely gains any power. I could go for six and two. That might be better, actually. So we gain 60% movement speed, as opposed to 30. And we lose, we lose out a little bit on the reach of the roboports, but that was already, like... Just a little bit less than ideal. Like, we could put them in the middle of a rail block and they would reach everywhere, but we would have to move them around some of the time anyway. So, I might try this instead. Are you using all the recommended mods too? Uh, like which ones? We've got these mods. Professional date. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't really think I need to carry power armor anymore because this has got more slots and I don't think the damage reduction even matters unless we run out of shields. So I might just get rid of this. Okay, uh, what were we doing? Just the one portable RTG, two legs, that's 400 kilowatts. And it won't take as long to recharge the roboports either. Um, uh, I think this will be okay. Now, what color should I go for? Purple? Like the material fabricator? How do I get purple? Blue and, blue and red? That's pink. Uh, it's kind of hard to get purple. How about this? That's fine. So these ones will carry the... Uh, the big small stack size, all of the uh, production buildings. Uh, and we need to give them some robots as well. I should have put those up at the top, but it's fine. Um, a hundred? How many robots can this support? Uh, 25, 50, 100, 150. I don't think we need 150 bots anyway. Uh, first spider. We'll give them some repair packs as well. 
Don't worry about it, just go one step at a time and enjoy it, indeed. Uh, am I forgetting something? I could have them carry some scaffolding as well. How about three stacks? Um... Can't really think of anything else. Power? No, the other ones are going to carry power. And signals and stuff like that. Oh, I don't think I got them to carry space manufactories. Uh, I guess we can put that here. Space menu factory. Yeah, I definitely forgot that. So how did I miss that? Oh, because it's just over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went from here to here. Alright, I don't think we missed any others. Um... I'll still go for a little bit of scaffolding as well, I think. And let's save this as production space spidertron. Production O space production Otron. Save. And, oh, I forgot almost. Trash unrequested items that adds so much. I think actually it'll be easier to edit this if I don't include the trash unrequested items as part of this. So if I'm going to use this thing, if I'm going to use uh, auto trash to set this, I'm going to go space constructor tron and then trash unrequested. So we'll leave that as it is. And then this one, I think I'll use this blue color again, 3815525. Um, we're going to need a leader as well. I don't know what color that's going to be, but let's copy this. Two exoskeletons, six roboports. And some battery. Now then, since you are not looking for the production things, you'll have more room for everything else. I think one stack of each type of belt per spider should be sufficient. And... I'm not going to be bothering with the deep space transport belt, I don't think. Oh, we need some chests. All kinds of chests. Oh, right. I guess we don't set these to, like, 47 each. As long as we've got room to put things in auto-trash, that won't be a problem. But for chests themselves, there's no auto-trash. That'll be fine. Uh, inserters, of course. I don't think we need to be requesting burner inserters up here. Some space pipe. One 
one stack of each. Should be way more than enough. Once we add up a few spiders. Storage tanks, pumps, and we're not going to be needing any offshore pumps. Uh, we're not bothering with the old power poles anymore. But I will have them carry all kinds of pylons and such. Actually, uh, we can probably skip the construction pylon though. I'm either going to go for a pylon substation or a radar construction pylon. Not the in-between. And then we have space rail. Uh, just one stack each should be fine. As long as we've got enough spiders. Same goes for signals. I won't have them carry locomotives or anything. Uh, we do, of course, need to give them bots. In keeping with the other thing consistently, I'll put this at the end. Actually, no, since I'm going to put roboports down here, we don't need to give them logistic bots. Uh, I'll put these requests here. And then lights. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Combinators. Crafting combinators. Uh, almost never use recipe combinators. In fact, I think the only time I've used crafting combinators up here is for the mall and for modules. So I'm not going to have them carry those all the time. Okay. Uh, don't need power switches up here. Signal transmitters and receivers. How much space do we have left? About 36 stacks. But I want to leave several of them empty so that we avoid the issues that we've had before. So I'll go signals. Uh, I don't think... I might have them carry some scaffolding if we've got room left over. I don't need them to carry rocket silos normally. Uh, we're kind of done with delivery cannons in orbit. Uh, and we're not going to have... We're going to have specialized spiders, if anything, to make the spaceships. I think I prefer... I think I prefer just to have a place like this to make spaceships, though. We still don't have this antimatter booster tank. Uh, are we getting close to launching that Naquium? Yikes. What's happening with our Naquium? Nothing. That's the problem. How much do we have here? 1.2k. And we've got 5.1k here. We're looking for 7.6 for a full load. I could trigger a delivery. Get that up there a little bit earlier. And there it is.
Black Duck, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Once we have those ingots in place, I'll get them sent up. Oh. Well. We have more Naquim coming in right now, actually. Uh, in about one minute. I might just wait for it. We've also got another one following. Oblong 6, I think that's one of our antimatter ships. So it's probably going to get there like five seconds after Oblong 1. Auto save. I might need to trim a few surfaces again, but I don't know where I can. Yeah, this is our... Wait, why are you not moving? What? How? No, don't tell me it's busted. It's busted! No! We tested the hell out of this. Uh, okay. Have to go rescue it. Um, let me just get a few more of these spiders. Because I have to physically be here to put in the power armor stuff. Put that back. Missing four personal roboports. Still missing four personal roboports. On the way there, there we go. Okay. Um, this will be a short trip anyway. Let's just get over there with our replacement walls. Um, yeah, I might have to. I might have to lower the speed limit just a little bit, only when they're in dense asteroids. What density is this? Three? Yeah, no, it's only doubled. Really? I tested this thing going full speed, and that was before I added these tanks that slow it down a little bit. I tested this thing going full speed through maximum density asteroids and it lost a bit of spaceship wall. Uh, I can, I can actually fix this remotely. Okay. Well, that's something at least. I, I don't actually need to make this trip. But yeah, um, that's a little bit upsetting. I tested this thing in the densest asteroid fields, uh, going maximum speed, and it never had any problems, but a medium density one is what brought it low. Kinda surprising, to say the least. What's our power look like? I could add... If I squeeze one more laser in here on this design, it's almost sure to handle the difference. It will occasionally cause the um, antimatter engine's power to dip, I suspect. Or it might just dip into the accumulators more. I don't like the asymmetry of this, but this one's hardly ever going to be needed, so it's probably fine. 
but also, also, if we're going to automatically fix that. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Uh, if we're going to fix that without going out of our way to do it, do we have some walls here? Yeah, we do. Of course we do. Alright, so we just need to request some spaceship wall. What's our request threshold? One stack? That's perfect. Uh, we also... wow. Uh, we, we need to... What the... Oh yeah, we have a multiplier here, so this is our whitelist. But we also had to manually whitelist Nacritite. That's fine. Sir, what is your field of experience IRL? Uh, I'm not an engineer or anything like that, if that's what you mean. Just, uh... Just kind of going from one temp job to the next, whatever I can get, to be honest. I did have some training as a software developer, but uh, didn't go all the way through with that. I kind of had a disaster, uh, a few disasters at once in the final semester, including getting very sick. Wasn't too helpful. Did we get all of our grid items? No, we didn't. I actually thought we did, and I was being pedantic, but no, actually. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is pretty much finalized, this design here, but we might have wanted to add more stuff to these spiders. Um, I don't really want them carrying floor stuff. Oh, I already looked at this, and we're not doing spaceship things. What else is there? We don't want them carrying intermediate products. Uh, oh, lasers and... Hmm. Do I want them carrying anything from this, apart from repair packs? We're kind of set as far as media point defense and so on goes. They're not going to be building that frequently. This might be it. Okay, so we add... we've already got the request for bots. Um, what do we call this? Logistics? Space Logistics Otron. Save. And then Trash Unrequested. Copy paste that across. And I'll make this one the leader, I guess. Uh, we could make that yellow. It'll stand out. Alright. And now I just need to get the others to follow it. Control click. Control click. And so on. Much better. Uh, is this it? No, oh, that's the wrong one. And I... Oh, why is it like this? I guess I'll just remember that that remote is there. Do you stream regularly? Yep, yeah. uh, five days a week, usually. And 
I think we've set those up nicely now. But where's our Naquatite? Still waiting on, I think, one more train load. And it is on its way. We've only got 27 here. Stack size of 10, one per second. Ouch, less than one per second. Um, so about 1600 seconds. Or 26 minutes. And that's game time, not real time. It's actually like three times that. I'm just going to send this thing up early. So we're going to change the signal temporarily. There we go. Wait, I've been looking for an Aussie streamer. What time do you usually kick off? Uh, let's see. Uh, at the same time I started today. How long have we been going? Uh, it is 9 p.m. So, five hours, 20 minutes ago. Four or five p.m. too early? I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I usually go seven hours. Oh, sorry, is it seven hours? Yeah, seven hours. Okay. I'm very slightly guilty that I'm watching while I'm still at work. Take it when you can get it. Absolutely. It's literally impossible you're being paid what you're worth anyway. On average. Let's put these... No, I think I want a few more spiders. Why not? I don't know how many we lost. A few more blue ones would probably be a good idea. Uh-oh. Wait, I don't have personal batteries? Uh, are we requesting that they get made here? I don't think... I don't think I am, actually. Okay, let's, uh, let's remedy that, I guess. Personal battery... Actually, we need to make Mark 1s first, don't we? Battery... Yeah, we do. Okay, so... Personal battery Mark 1. Personal battery Mark 2. Uh, once we start making the... Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. What is that electro thump occasionally? Uh, that is logistic bots tragically exploding. Which is going to happen if you have more than 50 in a robot network. And the more you have, the more often they're going to crash. There is research to mitigate it, or rather, sadly... The only thing the re research changes is how many you can have before the crashes start dealing damage. Love work from home. Bill 40 hours work for. <laughs> Name in base. Repetitive beats. No worries. How about up here? Wait, we've already got repetitive beats. Well, we're going to have repetitive beats again. Right up here? No. How about here? And we can send our new spiders. Wait, I didn't get them to... F I didn't get them all to follow yet. We can send our new spiders to get that done. Four hours on a good week. Some days they get the money out of me. <laughs> yeah. I've had jobs as well where nothing happens and that's terrible. Because you have to, like... 
at least have the appearance of being at attention the entire time. Uh, can I be slipsec though? Sure. Slipsec. What the? Oh, I think some spiders are placing signals or something. Whoops. S L I P S. Yeah, something is happening with signals somewhere. That's that's the lurch that we only get when spiders when something is placing or removing signals. But I don't know where that would be happening right now. Maybe there were signals here that never got placed. I doubt it. Let me not get distracted. We need E C. E and drum roll. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Gek. Slip sack. Uh, apparently we didn't bring enough lights. That, to me, suggests we need more spiders. Uh, we still have five over here. We're still missing the personal bat. One of them walked away without the, any of the equipment. Because if, you, if you're missing even one thing, it won't put anything into the grid. Okay. Are we making personal batteries yet? I don't see any. We're making a whole lot of stuff because we're filling up a whole bunch of new spiders. Can I have my name on a ship that's really wide? <laughs> I... Bat... 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 Boy, I, I don't think... You know, even if I had the font mod, that might be a problem. F-A-T-B-O-Y-N-O-T-S-O-S-L-I-M Okay, we could fit it on this thing if we had a font, but not when our, uh, not when our text is five tiles wide. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we even have the, I don't think we even have the whole stress to support that. Where, where are we going to put this? How about here? Uh, we need an F again. I think I saw an F here, actually. F-A. I'm going to need to move it, because I don't know how much space it's going to take. It. Wait. Yes, I do. Haha. -ha. Perfect. I think you could make it. There are designs out there for really wide ships. Yeah, I don't know if we even have the uh, the integrity, though, uh, the ship stress, to be able to do that just yet. Okay, um, we need batteries. But we're making way too much other stuff. Um... Okay, what I might do real quick, otherwise we're going to lose track of things, is put this here, disconnect this, and then we're just going to make the spider stuff. Uh, so now I'm going to skip the timer, and in a second or two, now we're making batteries. We're only requesting one of each, but because it makes it so fast, it's going to make a bunch of them. I could set a higher target for the personal batteries, though, I guess. But since all of the personal batteries are being moved over here, they won't sort of count as being in the logistic network.
All right, we have seven. I don't know which... Oh, there we go. I can just see at the bottom of the screen if they've got the power grid. Missing four personal roboports. Bring to me the four personal roboports, please. Missing two batteries. Here come the batteries. Uh, does this one? No, it doesn't. Lots of these didn't get any grid stuff. Okay, I think we have just two to go, and I'm pretty sure all the purple spiders have what they need. What about a fleet of 16 ships with one letter each? I can't actually... well, not in space, I can't. Alright, let's remove this, put this back here, delete that. There we go. Okay. Um, they're all following the leader, right? Yeah, so I don't know how many more... Oh, 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 right, I forgot. I was going to say I don't know how many more of these we actually need. But that was also because... I was going to say that was because some of them were missing power armor stuff. But we also have a few of these that we just added. Okay. Oops. Don't need this. Don't need this either. Or that. Or probably most of these uh, deconstruction planners. Let's not forget these lights over here. And these ones over here, I suppose. Okay. Did we get our... Yeah, surely we got our Macrium ingots. Wait, we've got at least a train load here. It's not being picked up. That's a very good sign. This is bottlenecked on ion. And I think this is our bottleneck to get the science, isn't it? Naquium structural data, actually. Wait. Let me check all of that. Uh, we're actually really low on energy data as well. But we have no Naquium structural data. Why not? Because we don't have ingots. Because this is still switched off. Well, good thing we still have a train load of ingots over here. Fantastic. Uh, let's check this is going where we think it's going. Yeah, it is. Alright, so we should get... What? 1600... Uh, 1600 structural data out of that? Yeah, it's got the... Well, that's going to be really short of a train load of Nacrium structural data, though. We only need... Oh, we need 2,000. Never mind. Never mind. For some reason I misremembered and thought this required like 100. So there's no point in, like, playing with the stack thresholds and stuff to make this happen a bit sooner. 
Do Nequian plates also stack to 10? Uh, plate stacks to 20. Huge. Uh, let's see, we've got... We still don't have... Do we have cubes? Oh no, we don't have cubes. I think we need plate for that. Yeah, we do. Should I send up some plate early, I guess? That is not that much plate. But we really need... Yeah, I think... I think we'll forget about the ingots, pretty much. For now. Because we really need the plate, because we really need the cubes, because we really need the antimatter engines and booster tanks. Because we really need to make more fast ships. Because that's what we need to get uh, Naquium throughput higher. So this is like putting all of our resources into burner mining drills at the very start of the game. Um, yeah, so we're not getting any of these booster tanks until we get more plate up here. And none of the plate went to Naquium cubes because I've got this prioritized here. I might just switch this off for now. And I'm, in fact, I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to steal some plate from science and put it into cubes. How full are these guys? Uh, not even a little bit, actually. Alright, wait, was that what I thought it was? No. I think it was, uh... Why do you have cliff explosives? We're in space. And where has my Spidertron remote been shuffled to? Alright, let's clean up all of this old stuff. For the moon craters, of course? I suppose so. Okay. I think that's been dibsed by some random bots somewhere. So we just have to refresh that. I can't actually remotely get rid of these space capsules. Speaking of things that well, they're not impossible, but a bit of a nuisance to do remotely. Let's shove all of our plate over here, actually. Oops. cube do we get? Uh, it takes 16 to make one cube. But we don't need a whole lot of cubes. Uh, four to make an engine, one to make a booster tank. I think I'll go for... Well, I need to at least rebalance this, but I think I'll go for another player load of Naquim I could shove it all in the spider, actually. Whoops. Give back the plastic, please. Alright, that'll do. And I'll rebalance this with uh, even distribution. Just getting out of the spider because it's all wobbly. I guess I could just put this all in here. Even distribution will rebalance it when I do it the final time. 
There we go. That should be at least seven Nacrim cubes. It's about... Okay, really, really roughly, it's about one cube per stack of plate. And... Provide stack threshold 160... I'm thinking no, actually. But we probably gave it enough to trigger that. But there's no reason to wait for it, we need to get this ship moving. So let's bump that down to one. Rebalance this plate. And back to the mall. I love that gamer lighting from the material fabricators. Okay, what's next? Pick this up, please. In fact, I think I will get these guys to cut off the robo network in this area. Actually, no, I can get almost any bot to do that. Except that could be some bot randomly assigned to do it from way over here. Are you on unlimited research now, or is there still more to go? There's actually quite a bit more to go. Um, in terms of volume, for how much necrotite we need to get through all this, it is ludicrous compared to our throughput right now. I misplaced a path, can that be destroyed by hand? Misplaced a path? Uh, what do you mean by that? Pick this up, please. Thank you. Alright, so now this is in a separate robo-network, and we're not going to get random bots from the other side of the world dibsing this or that item to be picked up. So the SE mod is really good if, you, if you've got a year or spare time and want to do something. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to take a while. I mean, I think even if, whoops, uh, even if you were to play it again and you know exactly what you're doing, there's no blindness, there's no inexperience. Uh, it's still going to take a long time to play through this mod. Rip the OG belt bus, uh, science bus, yeah. If UPS wasn't a thing, I would never do this, but unfortunately it is. How much is left? Will you finish before point .6 is released? Uh... Which year is point six being released? Because we're mostly just bottlenecked on resources. I mean, we are completely bottlenecked on Naquium at the moment. Um, and the game is running at a bit over one third speed. Ooh, we got all the way up to 23.5. Was the old main bus sitting here really that expensive? I mean, it was pretty much idle, right? 0.6 of SE or what? Yeah, I don't know. If I was to play again, I think I'd go bot base and live with the attrition. Yeah, uh, there's certain things where you kind of have to go bots, uh, arguably. I mean, I definitely prefer... I definitely prefer my spaceships to use bots as opposed to having some underground belt 
like this. Uh, and needing a lot of inserters and stuff. Well, I guess something I would definitely do... Um, th things that I would definitely use on another playthrough of SE uh, is the giant containers like in AAI. Uh, and probably loaders. They are kind of like easy mode or a cheat, some people might say, but all of these things, like inserters and stuff, they all add up and for the UPS, and there's just so much in space exploration. Uh, it's huge. So having like a couple of giant chests uh, as opposed to 24 or 48 of them for a train stop, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, and then not having the inserters swinging, having to swing, the loaders I, I imagine are much more UPS uh, friendly. I have them and they're worth using for sure, indeed. The moment the space elevator is released I'll most certainly start another SE run. So probably in five to ten years. Yeah, that's what it feels like. I remember literally months ago um, someone saying uh, that apparently Space Elevator is coming soon. Filtered loaders off a big chest is pretty OP, yeah. But at the same time, uh, and, and I think... I, I think anyone who's seen any amount of this playthrough will agree this is a pretty reasonable statement. Um, getting stuff in and out of trains and onto belts, it's not like it's a problem that I haven't solved. Like, it's, it's a challenge I could happily skip for one playthrough, especially if it prevents UPS getting this low. Just like the next expansion for Factorio is about one or two years ago? Oh no. Is this the... Oh, we have a rocket fragment here. We're still... No, this is actually not in motion. I didn't think so. I mean, that would have been weird. I thought it was, and I thought it was weird. I'm still curious what the expansion will be. I mean, at this point, space is already covered by SE, so I guess go underground. Like the, uh, uh, what were they called in the, the time machine? The Morlocks? And leave the paradise of the surface to the biters? All we know is that Irandel's art will be in the DLC, indeed. They have no obligation to not stepping on mod's toes, though. Yeah, there's a game or two that I could name which is notorious among the modders for devs just arbitrarily changing things and breaking everything. Uh, as someone who's made a mod or two, uh, one that exploded much more than I would have imagined, uh, you're kind of, if you make a mod with any, any degree of popularity at all, you're almost like signing yourself up to support it for life, except obviously in reality, you don't have to do that, but every X months, you're going to get a post that either says, this mod is great, thank you, or it's broken from the update, please fix it, or why doesn't this work with mod you've never heard of? Uh, that's cool and great. Rather something like instance mines, what's that about? 
Your designs are pretty amazing, and I've stolen a good amount of the design. Thank you. That is the sincerest flatter flattery, I think. Stealing someone's stuff. Uh, except for in space, I did my own bastardized double grid system. A top section for train stackers and loading. And a bottom one for production. It's funky, but it's working. I'm also totally bored and not actively playing it. Fair enough. Remember, vanilla is a mod. So likely they'll extend what mods can do with the engine in the DLC. As in, vanilla is technic. Uh, technically a mod with how Factorio works. I think, uh, if I recall, Half-Life worked that way as well. The reason why I don't write mods, not because I couldn't, but rather I don't want to maintain them long term. Yeah, I think if I were to do it again, um, I, I would put a little effort into, like, finding someone who's willing to take it over at some point. Like, I would post about that before it gets to the point of one year later, two years later, hey, please fix, and so on. You can load the engine without vanilla. Funky. Uh, let's move these guys closer to the bulk of the storage chests. Also, where are our uh, ships right now? Oh, it's still moving. Good. Let me just look up all of them. Because one of them managed to get itself broken. Deep Space Miner 1. Uh, number two is in motion, three is in motion, five, four, and six. Okay. Oblong, one, two, three, four. Four is waiting its turn to land at Oblong. Uh, Oblong Lobulata. Five is in motion. Is it my imagination? Oh, it's because it's moving. No, look at this. This one's really dark, right? They're all in deep space. Uh, they're all in space. Or is this one in system? Somewhere. No, Oblong 5 is... That's interesting. Why in the preview were some of them lit up and some of them were really dark? I wonder. What are you doing? Oh, you're... Oh, you're waiting to land at Nalvis? That must mean... No? Wait, what? Oblong 7. Closest to Nalvis. Destination... It doesn't have a destination signal. Nani? How long have you been sitting here? Oh no. Wait, it's got a destination sig... No. Hold on, it's empty. So it should be heading for... Oblong. So why isn't it? It was just here, right? Asteroid field, 11, 11, 12. Asteroid field, 11, 12. I don't understand. Oh well, let's send it there manually, I guess. Since it's empty, we know that that's where it should be going. It doesn't have any... Sulfuric acid, which implies... Okay, unless I messed up pumping sulfuric acid in here, which I don't think I did. No, that should be fine. Hmm. 
That's weird. Let's make sure as well uh, there's enough sulfuric acid here. Oh yeah, that's totally fine. On the other hand, you don't want to give away your baby to someone who'll mistreat it horribly. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Heat brightness from the energy receiver? They've all got the energy receivers. Uh, every single deep space miner ship. Okay, let's, let's compare. Number one, maximum temperature. Okay, that might be it. Oblong 2 is pretty dark. That's over 9,000. I don't think that's the answer. Also, what is that? Is that in the middle of the receiver? Who knows? Let's find another bright one. Oblong... Oblong 6 is really dark. 1.5k. Oblong 5... It's pretty... It's 1.7k. Yeah, it's not correlated with... It's not correlated with the temperature on this thing. It's kind of weird. Sending a concentrated en energy beam is totally logical. There's no way a planet or asteroid could block that. Uh, you know the James Webb Space Telescope? If I recall correctly, they took a picture of something through the Earth with that. Uh, if I remember. I'm sure there's someone in chat who can confirm or deny that pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, I guess it depends. Depends on the type of energy, right? What should we do while we're waiting for more Necrotite? I've done everything I can as far as designing the next sciences go. Unless I use FNEI to peek ahead. Um, catalog number three. And as soon as I click away, that's going to disappear. Space dilation data. Oh, we need Arco stuff for this. In this case, it would be light. In this case, it would be light. Uh, I don't know. Oh, as in how they took a picture through the Earth um, at something else? I, I think it was uh, something a bit more exotic than your typical photons. I can't remember. No, I meant the factory. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, where are we right now? It feels oddly cathartic, deleting old base. Dark magic, got it, indeed. High level physics is so much weirder than and cooler than anything anyone can make up. Uh, what should we do while we're just waiting on more Necrota? Why have we not got this... these booster tanks, though? Oh, right. Uh, we actually need more plate to make that happen. I think I should... 
send it up early. There's almost none of it here. It's not even worth um, forcing an early delivery. So I already changed the priority and... No, wait. I shoved a bunch of Naquium plate into the thing to make more cubes, right? We have 607 Naquium cubes here. It's just that we're still busy with the Omnicrafter making other things. So when we haven't got around to engines yet. Okay, um, I might do a little temporary... Uh, little do something temporarily about that real quick. Uh, boosters... Go. And passive... I did not need to handcraft that. Okay, I think we've still got plenty of engines, because we had, like, the same number of engines as booster tanks. Yeah. And we put a whole lot of booster tanks into our tanker earlier, which is still sitting here for the foreseeable future, because we do not go through antimatter stream all that quickly. I haven't actually confirmed that this refuels the ships. Uh... Considering we have 12k times 8, that's about 100,000. It seems like we haven't used up any of this. Unless we've gone through like 100k, which I doubt. Okay, um, anyway, we should have already made zero. Oh, because it has to stack in so much stuff. Oh my lord. Shift right click, shift left click, what have you done? Uh, yeah, that's a little bit excessive, actually. Oops. There we go. Now we can finally... Let's turn off my auto trash. Grab a couple of those. And deliver them directly to this ship. We can finally get another one of these going and start accelerating uh, Naquium a little bit more. Maybe I should put off... Nah, I really want to do the Arcosphere stuff. But the more... The more I put into just making Aquium go faster, the better it's going to be in the long run. And go. I said go. Where did those at? Wait, what? No, I have them right here. Oh, I don't have a robo. Port. That's why a derp. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, where is it going? I was about to say, no, wait, it's not trying to take off. It was just doing an integrity check because of reasons. But no, it was trying to take off. Uh, it's heading for Nalvis. I guess we're about to find out if... I'm pretty sure those fumes of antimatter will be more than enough to get it quickly to Nalvis. 
But yeah, I guess we are about to find out that, in fact... Uh, that's not good. This is pumping antimatter around in a circle. I didn't make the same mistake on this side. No, I didn't. But we need another pump here, and I don't think we have one. Oh, we do. Fantastic. Um, where am I going to put it, though? I don't suppose we have the pipes in that block. Uh, we have regular space pipe. I don't really want to use that there. I'd like to put a fiver. Send the construction spiders over. They're actually relatively close. And make sure they go back to the mall after that. Take care, fat boy, not so slim. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. No, no. Bye. Oh, I see. I thought that was an unusual goodbye for Twitch chat. I meant that ship said bye. <laughs> Indeed it did. Uh, in fact, I didn't even get a chance to name it. I think we're up to Oblong 8. Yeah, Oblong 8. Okay. Doesn't really matter if we get this pipe here, but... Why is antimatter not good? Oh, you're joking. Oh, no. I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna throw this one out there myself. That is unfortunate. What the... What the bling? Nice connection, indeed. Well, this is Twitch chat's job. That's what's, that's what's great about... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, we don't need this here. We can move all of this upper tile. And get rid of that. Put a 3B there. That's a little bit cleaner. Alright. All good. Good thing antimatter gets us really, really far, otherwise that might have become a problem before we fixed it. Although it's late and I made the stupid plan of waking up at 6.30am tomorrow morning to smoke some meat for dinner with friends. That sounds like a good plan. Mil Dorado, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we did it. Antimatter stream. 600 per second. 1000 on this side. That's weird. Probably because this side was more empty. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Is it trying to launch? No. Because it doesn't have all of this stuff. Oh! Well, that's interesting. Um. This is definitely not the first time one of our antimatter mining ships has been here, right? Surely not. But apparently we're checking that we have 40,000 ion stream before it takes off. What the? 
Does that mean... No, you're kidding. Oblong... Oblong 1. Oblong 2. I mean 4. Well, let's just go from the top. How many are waiting to land at Nalvis? None of them. But looking at this circuitry, one would think that the antimatter ships would never take off. Because we don't have 39,000 ion stream detected in the ship. I don't understand. We're also missing a little bit of water still. I think I'm just going to get rid of the requirement for Ion Stream to take off. But I was going to... I don't know how much antimatter we need to safely go there and back again. I'm sure this is more than enough already, but the ship isn't taking off yet because we don't have quite enough water. We also don't have a spare... Um, biochemical facility, but I really don't think we need to worry about that anymore. We've got lots of ships carrying those, and the odds of that getting destroyed are also low. So we're just waiting on a bit more water. I can't think of a good way without adding more combinators to look for either X amount of antimatter or Y amount of iron stream as a requirement to take off. But I think it's pretty safe to assume that we're going to have enough of it at this stage. taking a surprisingly long time to get the water. 450 per second. There's only the one pump putting it in. Wait a minute, there's no way. No, 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 I, I remember. I didn't send any of these ships anywhere without water in the first place. We didn't get Wait, what? No, this is all sulfuric acid. This is water. There's no way I've been making these ships and not giving them any water, right? It goes in here. So why... Why was it so empty? This ship was sitting here for ages. Because it didn't have enough uh, antimatter booster tanks to finish its build. I also don't know why it was trying to take off before it was even finished. Uh, actually I might know the answer to that. No? The only launch and destination signal built into this... Uh, wait, what? Okay, I think I, I think I have the answer to that mystery. But why was it low on water? If, it, if it's below 5k water in this tank right here, uh, it'll try to go home to Nalvis. But I don't... Are we running out of water in space? Oh my goodness. That's a yes. Where's our water? Um... Oh, is it because... It's because we're dismantling the old base. I don't think we've got, um... Where's our ice? I think it's being sent up by rocket still. Here we go. Okay. And it takes a while to get enough, but... Nalvis Orbit Ice. There's actually four landing pads for Nalvis Orbit Ice somewhere. Uh, I believe this is one of them. Yeah, no, we haven't dismantled enough to not get water. It's that 
We haven't sent up ice in a minute. Probably we're missing... Well, no, this thing's ready to go, actually. It's just not got enough ice. What's happening with ice? Ice is here. It's kind of hard to see. It's hard to see the ice on the ice. Switch to bringing in ice from an asteroid belt. I mean, this is actually... This is still working at full speed. I think we just don't have enough to keep up anymore. Cryonite and sulfuric acid is really not difficult to come by. Especially in the quantities uh, that we need. We get 10 cryonite slush for 1 and 1. And then 1 cryonite slush per ice. So basically 10 ice per sulfuric acid or per cryonite rod. And that's before productivity modules. The hardest part, because we didn't build this next to the coast, is pumping in enough water to keep up. Uh, yeah, I think... We've been building a lot of these ships, and they do carry a lot of water. And we've built them all in orbit. Yeah, they, ca they carry uh, 200,000 water each. And we've been taking the water for granted. That is probably why. Maybe get the better speed modules? Yeah. That as well. But we've, we've been spamming these ships as fast as we can, and they've been taking 200,000 water each. I think that's the reason. Um, I might just not give them water when I build them, and they'll go to Nalvis, and they'll receive sulfuric acid and water there. Or I could a liquid rocket fuel to bring up lots and lots of water. I mean, as far as water goes, it's actually not that much, though. I think we're much better off bringing it up as ice. And we've been doing that anyway. We've got the cargo rocket still in operation. Um, and that cargo rocket was ready to launch. It's just waiting on ice, actually. Okay. Uh, also, ice is being taken to other places these days. Uh, we should get... Oh, that's right. We're prioritizing. We've got the two stations and double the storage, but prioritize this one first. Uh, but yeah, we've got six point... We're just about to hit the threshold... We need two-thirds of 200, so 120, like 130 ice in this stack before a train is going to pick it up automatically. Um, but I think I remember there's a couple of places we take ice now. Here it is. Uh, we're delivering ice to waterless planets so that we can do power there. Uh, but I don't think the throughput of it is that high. I think it really is just because I made so many of those ships pretty quickly. And shoved 200,000 water into each of them, just taking it for granted. So we could just not do that. Um, I could send them to Nalvis instead. Or the only reason, well, no, they need water for power. Okay. After that little deduction, I think I'll take a short break.
Let's do one more words on stream today. And uh, I'll fire up the screensaver. Starting in 30 seconds, and I'll be back in a few minutes.
One more. One more. Okay, let's continue with Factorio, shall we? How'd y'all do? Level 5 is next. Fantastic. Let's go drop this off of the screen. And we're back to Nalvis Orbit. We should have more than enough to make a couple more ships. Uh, antimatter. Yeah, we've got... We can make five more ships with this. That should be... Probably, I imagine. Uh, we're still on the screensaver, aren't we? There we go. Uh, I imagine that is enough to bottleneck Naquitite on this mine instead of the spaceships. So, let's do that. Except instead of putting the water into them up here, uh, I think I'll have them... I'm pretty sure they won't launch while they've got unbuilt items, even though the circuit is telling them to launch. If they launch with basically no fuel, they will still get to Nalvis, worst case, in like 15 minutes. Solving the water slash ice problem? Yeah. Uh, I'm solving that problem by basically paying antimatter, to be honest. I'm sending them back down to Nalvis. They're going to get their water. They're going to get their sulfuric acid as well. Not that there's any shortage of that. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Switch that off. I just thought of something. We need to wait until this reaches like six or seven hundred degrees to make sure we've got enough energy stored to get to Oblong. So, should have done this before. Uh, switching off the constant combinator has the spaceship launch signal. And I guess I could put some water in here. The thing is, um, with the antimatter version of these ships, we probably don't need anywhere near as much stored water. Because the original design for this was an ion ship. Uh, and we were sending it out to Black Mirror, 
This is our first aquatite mine out here. And we wanted to be absolutely sure that we had more than enough water for it to get there, run the miners off of the ship's power supply, and get back. Um, and we probably, we probably have like double the storage capacity that we need, uh, for water here to begin with. And this is the most extreme case. So we got a slow ship going all the way from Calidus through deep space, all the way to Black Mirror. Uh, it has to run the mine off of the ship and then the ship comes all the way back. Um, but now we've got antimatter ships zipping from Calidus to Oblong, Loblata, and back. So it really doesn't need 100k, uh, 200k even. Uh, it really doesn't need that much water. But what I might do is actually... Overall, it's probably easier if we just limit the amount of water we put in these ships in the first place. Uh, probably... Well, let me see if I can find a ship that's almost at Oblong or almost back would be even better. That's antimatter. Because then we can get a really solid estimate of how much water it goes through. Okay, I think we'll look at the one that is almost at Oblong, and we'll just double it. Uh, it looks like we've used... a bit over a thousand per tank. Let's call it 10,000 just to be safe. So 25k should actually be more than enough um, to go all the way out to Oblong Lobelada and back. I don't feel like removing the extra storage tanks from this design or anything, uh, partly because we've got wires piggybacking off of it, but more to the point I would have to go back and change several... Uh, several ships. But what I can do is just limit it. So if we only need like 20, 25k water, uh, divide that by 8. Uh, is 3,000 per tank. So we're going to say water less than 3k. And once the I might force deliver some ice if we're... if it's still in the same state. Oh, there it goes. What perfect timing. So we're about to get uh We're about to get a hundred thousand ice, which is Un uh, multiply that by 100 is this is how much water we just sent up uh what is it 10 million that should be enough in fact it makes me really wonder at how how we went through it all where's our space uh, where's our rocket Oh, it's over here, I think. Wait, no. Well, it could be either of those. Weren't there four locations this could have been sent to? But the other ones should be all totally inactive. One rocket is 10.9 million. Or so, water in ice. Fantastic. So I think it said... 
Well, let's check over here real quick, in case there was a little delay. Uh, let's see. Water, I mean ice. Nalvis Orbit Ice, there's four cargo landing pads with that name. But I only know of a couple of them at this point. Uh, let's see. We have it here? Yeah, 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 here we go. Okay, so that... That is ice that is only there to make cosmic water. Oh, no. I think we figured out where all the water went. Cosmic water goes into chemical gel, I believe. Yeah. I know we're going through a lot of chemical gel these days. Plasma stream. We need plasma stream to make uh, particle stream and antimatter. Um, well then. What should we do in the short term to get water? I could just add... I'm, I'm just going to go steal some. That'll help a little bit. Jeez, that's a lot of... That is a lot of water we're going through up here. Like, really a lot. It... Lacking a space elevator, it almost tempts me to put spaceship tiles down on Nalvis so that we can build our orbital base on the ground. If I was really gonna... If I was perfectly happy to cheese it, that's probably what I would do in another playthrough. Alright, give to me all of the ice, please. And shove some of it in here. Go away, bots. No, my ice. Give it to me. There's an army of bots chasing me. To get that sweet, sweet ice. Alright, let's head up here. And over to where the ice is needed. And come to think of it, that's going to be in a robo-network as well, probably. Yeah. Let's not. I'll stand about here. Get ready to shove it all in there. Spider looks kind of strange, with none of the legs sticking out, though. Okay. Quickly now. Turn this off, shove the ice in there. Give me that ice, shove it in there. Fantastic. That. Why do I have beryllium plate? Whatever, it's fine. I can't control click to take stuff from the spider. Not directly onto it anyway. All right, so there is our water. And it's not even that fast compared to the scale that we need it at. We're only moving 500 and... Okay, it is climbing as we get more water on this side. That'll last at least a couple of minutes, right?
It's fine. So now, uh, when we make our new ships, we're just going to limit it to just enough water to get to Oblong Loblada and back, and then some. And then when it gets back to Nalvis, uh, it'll receive water. What's our temperature? 400 degrees? Fantastic. Do we have antimatter here being requested? Yeah, we... Yeah, we've still got antimatter here. It's just not being pumped very quickly. Oh, we should definitely have a pump here, actually. That is a few too many pipe sections with no pump. Okay. And what's next? Ooh, speed modules. Don't mind if I do. I guess while we're waiting on a couple of things, I could redesign one of the old blocks. We could start with Red Science. It's a very short walk from the mall. Oh, except we need to pick up a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not going to move the chests. Yeah, I think... I think, I think we'll leave the stations exactly as they are. So we don't actually need to move that much stuff here. Do the spiders have prod sixes? Yeah, they do. Do we really need the prod sixes for the red sides? Uh, kinda. In fact, pretty much everything uses red... S most things use red signs. I just don't know how many prods we have these days. I haven't been eagerly keeping an eye on how many prod sixes we've got for a long time. We have been accumulating them while I've been focused on other things. Productivity 6. What? Apparently we haven't made any in the last hour. 2.4 per minute in the last 10 hours on average. But nothing in the last hour. That is a significant dip. What is it waiting on? Uh... Vitamelange extract, I suppose. Why don't we have Vitamelange extract? Let's check on Nalvis first. I have a feeling it might trace back to this. No, we've got tons of it here. Completely saturated. Constant combinators are switched on. I thought we had, maybe it's still just being brought up by sh uh, cargo rocket, and was and there's some problem with that. Yeah, I don't think we have vitamal uh, vitamalange spice or extract being brought up by shuttle yet. And where are we bringing it up by cargo rocket? Maybe I deleted it and didn't replace it. No, here it is. We're missing cargo rocket sections. I don't understand how this keeps happening. Uh, we've still... G oh. We're lacking low-density structures. But I don't understand why we still need so many. Um, we've been phasing out cargo rockets. And the parts get recycled a lot. 
Um, and yet, here we are. Low density structures, it's always plastic. Plastic is probably not bottlenecked on coal these days. Uh, the fact that we're seeing any motion at the storage, even though it's empty, suggests to me we've still got pretty good throughput of coal. Um, it must be petroleum. But petroleum actually looks pretty good. Didn't we make a build just for plastic? I think it was here. Yeah, I forgot to add the tag. And explosives. Goes over here. What are we missing? Petroleum gas. Do we have enough crude now that we're bottlenecked on the machines again? Possibly? All of the oil refineries are on. Almost. Okay, we are still bottlenecked on crude. Even after adding these. Wait, this is completely full and I don't see a train coming right now. Wait, what? I think I typoed the E. Crude oil provider. Take that chance to change the station name since for some reason there's no train coming here right now. Yeah, we've got a lot of crude oil here. Do we not have enough fluid wagons? I don't see LTN complaining the lack of fluid wagons. I guess it couldn't hurt to add a few more. What's going on here? A little bit of traffic. Quite a lot of traffic, actually. Uh, let's have a look at the depots. We've got... We've got fluid wagons sitting idle. I know it's far away, but... If we've got... How many fluid wagons are here? None. Uh, fluid depot is looking pretty empty, actually. Except this one's ready to go. Hmm. It would appear... We have enough fluid wag- oh, now it's going somewhere. Oh, it's going down here. Okay, I think we might just need more fluid wagons. Uh, so let's do something about that. I think I've got a blueprint for it. Yep. Plastic. Should be more than enough. The bottlenecks just keep shifting. Uh, but yeah, also I should phase out the cargo rockets a bit more aggressively. I'm really sick of dealing with the cargo rocket sections. Literally all we need uh, to feed spaceships is fuel. Um, and as far as the ships that just go to Nalvis orbit go, we don't need any we don't need any fuel for travel uh, really. It's literally just getting it into orbit. Sections aren't automated, they are, but uh, I keep finding that I don't have enough of them even though we're phasing out cargo rockets. Not fast enough, apparently. I could crank up the priority on 
uh, low density structures to be delivered here. I probably already have. Nope. Yeah, uh, it takes only four LDS for a cargo rocket section, but then, so we need 400 low density structures for one cargo rocket. Except we'd get a bunch of them back, obviously. Uh, I guess increases the percentage of parts that can be recovered. Max is 100%. What are we up to? 11 by 4%. We're at 44%. It only takes auto, uh, science pack 1. Uh, I'm almost tempted to spam this. Just so that we can lose... Nah, it's got to be worse. I'm tempted to waste a bunch of science to get uh, rocket reusability much higher when we're about to stop using cargo rockets. Won't ever be perfect, I see. Uh, but yeah. I, I bet if you did the math as to exactly how much how many low density structures specifically, for example, or how much plastic it would cost to get all of this done. Uh, especially because it keeps doubling. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna add up real quick. Uh, probably much better to focus our efforts on just not using cargo rockets anymore. You're using the bad section recipe? What do you mean by that? Cargo rocket section. Oh, yeah. Wait. If we... So we have to add beryllium plate to this. And we get twice as much. That is pretty good. That is a pretty big improvement. Especially because barrel has not really been a problem very much this entire playthrough. Cryonite is the easiest. Beryllium is probably the second easiest of the exotic resources to keep up with. That may or may not be more or less unique to this playthrough as opposed to what you generally get from uh the space exploration seed. Uh, but yeah, I should really just hurry up and replace all of these. It's a lot, though. We've done coal. Did I disable this? Launch manual. Wait, wasn't there another coal... No, I think that was um, rocket fuel that I was emptying out. Barrel is usually one of the easiest, yeah. I can imagine. Okay. There's a lot to do and a lot to wait up, uh, wait for. Uh, and a lot of it isn't, like, checking out new stuff or making new builds or anything. So I think I'm going to play more of this off-stream. Uh, cleaning up the old base. Waiting for more Naquitite. Let's get the spiders in motion here. Hopefully getting some UPS back. I'm sure we'll get, a, like, a few UPS back at least. If we clean out all the old stuff. I should also do on the ground what I did for the spiders up here. Where I split them into more specialized uh, carriers. I should probably get both of them to carry modules actually. Uh, but yeah. 
if I have time. Alright, so do we have this ship ready to launch? Oh, we do. Fantastic. So which one is this? Number 9 or 8? Uh, it is actually number 9. This is getting a bit over the top, but on the other hand, Naquitite is our main bottleneck right now. Ready to launch? Oh, wait. I set this to, if water is less than 5k, go back to Nalvis. Uh, that means I would need like 8k. Effectively. I'm just going to send it to Nalvis. And I'm going to stop bothering to put water in these. Although that would, uh, if I put no water whatsoever, it's going to have no power, and it would drift very slowly towards Nalvis. So maybe just a little bit, at least. Uh, let's go for this. That should launch. We're ultimately paying some water, among other things, to get it to Nalvis anyway. Uh, because of the antimatter fuel. More to the point, the antimatter fuel that it's going to cost to take off. But it's not too bad. Oh, I was also thinking about adding some lasers to these. Anchor on Narvis. Are you blocked? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. Uh, there's no room to add a laser here. Oh, this is one of the old designs. Well, that one's never going to go fast enough to need it. Uh, can I sort by name? Alright, so you've already got the laser that you're asking for. Number 8. Seven. They're probably not going to crash into any asteroids. I mean, we did test it pretty thoroughly. By the time they get given the extra laser. Six already has it. Oh, and it's also waiting for more spaceship wall. Wait, where are you going? Nalvis, 19 minutes until you get there. Okay, cool. Five, I think, is the old one. Nope. Five was probably our first new one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. That should be sufficient uh, to cover the rare case very rare case, actually, of an asteroid getting past those six lasers. Uh, Alright, it is looking like just about time to wrap up for today. Let's find a stream to raid. Seeing who's playing the old Factorio. Any percent speedrun? Sushi Cat. Sushi raided us today, right? Or, no, I think I was confusing that with Sifa. Yeah, why would someone be playing right now if they raided us? Whoops. I haven't seen Sifa when I'm finishing up for quite a while, actually. Alright. Uh, anyone we haven't raided before? There's quite a few people... That's pretty much usual suspects. 
No mic. That's unfortunate. I think it's been a minute since we gave us a Maltus raid. How about that? Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions or anything by all means. And uh, quite soon, let's head over to Zamaltus. Uh, on Tuesday, my time, that is three days from now. Going to be doing a bit of a uh, something different from the stream, from the usual variety day. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to go, but the idea is theoretically uh, as much as 24 hours. I, I very much doubt I'll be going that long. But I'm hoping to... I haven't actually set this up yet so I shouldn't make promises about it, but I'm hoping to set up some integration. I mean, I've done that with Dead Cells. It shouldn't be too hard. And we're going to be playing more than a couple of different games. Uh, and basically, if I get more subs and stuff, I'm going to go longer. Uh, I've been doing this, like, full-time hours for quite a while. And it's not something I can continue to do for too much longer. The right things are going. It's pretty likely I'll be pulled into work that doesn't let me do this as much. Subathon sub kind of thing? Yeah. So, you guys don't owe me anything. Let me be clear about that. This is something I do because I want to. And it's, if you get any entertainment out of it, it's my gift to you. But if you like, uh, if you want me to do it as much as I have been, uh, I mean, I may not be able to continue that regardless for now. But if you want me to be able to do that longer and f more often, uh, then by all means, consider it. But it's all a bit of fun in the end. So Tuesday's going to be more than a bit different from usual. Next couple of days are going to be the same. And for now, let's just drop in on Zamaltus. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Thanks a lot for the raids. Thanks a lot for the raids. Hope you had a great stream. <laughs> 